Hi, Zocon! Hello, everyone. Oh, no, my screen. <laughs> I just it very quickly. Oh, start, start, over. <laughs> start over, do the whole thing. Actually, start over because the intro was fantastic. I had not yeah. uh, heard that track until just now, and I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm ready to do some, some stuff here. We are going to play the Starfinder one-shot Band on the Run, which was just dropped today on paizo.me slash band on the run you can go there you can download it you can read through it in the next five minutes before we play through it and know all the secrets or you just wait till we're done and you get it then it's all up to you this is your paizocon you do what you want with it uh but we uh i don't know i'm getting weird now i'm jim uh jim jam if you prefer i'm not alone those people laughing at me are the players who are going to be with us tonight. You might recognize them from the previous one shot, Sundered Waves, or our series Troubles in Otari. But they're here. They're ready to play some Starfinder for a change. Uh, and we'll start with, uh, hi, Katie. Katie Wilson, hi. how are you tonight? I'm doing great. Uh, I feel like Xenon right now. That's awesome. <laughs> Your glasses are fantastic. Just Thank killer. You. Uh, I love Thank it. Thank you. Um, I, I just to, just to start us off, I'm gonna go through what is your favorite '80s song? Okay. <gasps> How dare you? You didn't prepare us for this. Oh. Uh, I know you should just have a song ready. Oh, <laughs> I'm like such a. Uh, I don't know. I'm such a big Duran Duran fan, and I love like '80s okay. pop music. That's good. Um, so I'll I'll go with. Uh, oh Lord, I don't know. Uh, Whip it. Shoot, come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Google it. This Fantastic song. Nice come back start. to me is one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> you know, what? Uh, shoot, I don't know. Uh, I really like the song "Ordinary World." That's a great song. Okay, hey, that's a fantastic yeah. choice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Is that the first one that popped up in the Google results? <laughs> I didn't Google that! Uh, <laughs> Siri, Siri, help. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, take On Me. Take On Me is my favorite. Ooh, or the Safety one. Dance. Safety Dance, always a winner. Well, Safety Dance is good. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. Uh, fantastic recovery, Katie. Thank you for putting up with my, <laughs> with my nonsense. Uh, Xander. <laughs> Yes. You have decided to come back for another one shot with us. Uh, yeah. Always a delight to play with you. Um, I'm very excited. Do you, also, are you okay to playing... answer about 80s yeah, songs yeah. or no? <laughs> Just a uh, quick, quick heads up. I'm playing the drummer tonight, so I'm sacrificing my makeup brushes and the palms of my oh. hands oh. Oh. to hands play the drums. <laughs> uh, That's but dedication. Yeah, you know, I, I, when thinking about 80s songs, I just, I never could give you up. I never could uh, give oh, you up. I could never <laughs> let <laughs> you down. <laughs> yeah. Rickrolls all of Paizo mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Okay. I love it. Never gonna give uh, you I'm here up. for it. Never gonna let you. I can't say more or we'll get flagged. <laughs> that's oh, true. that's true. We have to stop. Like, forward. what is the actual legal limit yeah. that we can say? <laughs> Smick uh, Schmastly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Michelle has decided once again to allow me to bully her on the internet and, and pick apart all her ideas. It's a problem. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, I have to actually, I wanted to ask you because oh. Maple. Uh, in our in our series Scoured Stars that we just ended. I will ask you about 80s songs, but I just wanted to say, um, you know, you had taken the beefiest armor available mm -hmm. to the entire party through the entire Scoured Stars series, but then you hid in the back and allowed your <laughs> captain to almost get killed. How do you feel about that as a player and as a I, character? You know if I, mean? I recall correctly, and I will just see Maple's voice, if I call, recall correctly, I did get everyone a chance to look at our treasure, but everyone took longer than an hour after the last game. So I did go ahead and just take wrong. what I needed. And I, I feel like, you know, that I gave everyone a really fair opportunity. It's kind of on them. There's a time limit. I was not wrong though. I respect you. Yeah. I waited about an hour. About an hour, then I picked. I respect it. Yes. Tonight I'm playing New Year Pay. I just wanted to say I don't have a base or a boss, but I do have this 
square ruler yeah. from when I was in design school. It does have my name on the back, and I I will use it as my base. <laughs> I'm gonna put the base it. way up here, by the way. Hold on, it should be like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, and there's nothing it's wrong space with it. It's space. Space. It can go in the reverse. Yeah. It's space yeah. base! Oh, that's space gonna be a whole space. thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, my, space, my favorite space based song from the 80s is uh, Wake Me Up Before Ya. Go, 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 go. I love that one. Is that 80s or is that? It is 80s. Okay. Yeah. And I was earlier. Yeah. I'm an 80s baby, so I have a lot of 80s knowledge in my brain. <laughs> mm. Very nice. Planted in there. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, Gabe, you have returned. Yeah. We're so happy to see you again. Yeah. yeah. It's good to be back. So happy to have uh, you back. Yes. Katie, did you pick Take On Me? Because I was singing that in the bathroom in our like pre show. <laughs> no. Oh. Maybe. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I was like, why is that in my head right now? I, yeah, it's your fault. Cool. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Just make it short. Um, I, <laughs> I, for me, it's uh, it's Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. Like, oh, that's such a good that, one. So that, that's the song that like plays while I'm walking down the street at night, and then like someone pops out, and I think that I'm in danger, but then they start like yeah. snapping and moving towards me, and I'm like, I don't know what to do here, so I'll just do oh, that. Yeah. That's a very weird specific statement, and I'm not saying it's happened once, but I live in a weird place. <laughs> uh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, everybody, we're here. We're here to play some some Starfinder. I won't exempt myself from my own question. I'll oh, say yeah. that my favorite '80s song. Uh, it it is "Spin Me Round" by Dead or Alive. <laughs> it's a very yeah. good one. Mm. Big fan mm -hmm. of it. Nice. Super catchy. Can't ever get out of my head. Once it's like a serious earworm. Uh, it was also great for said, Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. I never mm. really got into Dance Dance Revolution so yeah. much Ooh, uh, because I was terribly uncoordinated. Because I'm terribly uncoordinated with the feet. Like, I just can't play it that well. Too. You just got to get good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I gotta just, I wow. <laughs> Y'all are really trying to get us killed. That's fine. Jim, you're great. <laughs> I'm sure you were fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I just want to watch it happen. Yeah. I want to see this yeah. in like, the real world. I want to see Jim play Dance Dance Revolution. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yay. That would be our next stream is Dance there Dance Revolution with, with Jim Jam. Pie 2022. Got it. Uh, <laughs> indeed. That'll be the headlining act. Yeah. Right, before I get myself I mean, in any more trouble, uh, I say we play some Starfinder and showcase this awesome one shot. Good morning, Galaxy. This is Segway Macedro with your Diaspora news update. Today marks the first day of Out of the Nest Music Festival, where up and coming artists showcase their talents in hopes of signing a deal with Azure Note Studios. Festival goers were doubly excited about after learning that sugar pop sensation Strawberry Machine Cake announced they are closing out the festival tonight and ticket sales have gone through the roof. Songbird Station released a statement that the venue had sold out just 12 minutes after the announcement of the uh, Strawberry Machine Cake uh, appearance, making this the most highly attended Out of the Nest event since the festival's inception. Zane Amelou, lead singer and guitarist of Neon and Noqual, you turn off the radio feeling pretty darn good. Things are all coming together. Finally, after years of practice, months of small gigs scrounging for every credit the band has a chance at the big time in eight hours live at songbird station neon and noqual is set to take the stage at the very music festival festival mentioned in the news update this is the chance you've all been waiting for and nothing is going to hold you back except perhaps the blinking red warning light on your ship's console Mama, Mama's little helper sputters, shudders, <laughs> and the power flickers briefly as more warning lights begin to flash. What do you do? Well, that's a problem. Uh, I start flipping switches. Um, you start flipping switches as you're doing it. Most of them are actually completely non-responsive. Usually you just bang on the console until it starts working again. But this time things seem to be getting worse. In fact, you are headed right towards a small meteoroid and you need to make a quick piloting check to avoid a disastrous crash. This is fine. 
Go, go, go. First roll. <laughs> Better than I expected. 21. Hey. 21. Hey, you are quick with the stick, and you managed to yank <laughs> your ship out of the way of this small meteoroid before just splattering against the side. However, the engine... <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Go on. The engine starts to sputter and the whole star ship starts to uh, to shudder. And new you pay. You feel it before it happens. But it's sort of like watching a glass fall off the table when you're across the room. There's just no way you can catch it before it shatters all over the floor. The glass, in this metaphor, is Mama's Little Helper. A junker spaceship held together by duct tape, sheer force of will, and your constant love and attention over your tenure as bassist for Neon and No Qual. As the cramped, straining tour ship putters across the diaspora, you feel a mounting tension somewhere in its rusted bowels, and before you even have time to rush to the engine room, the whole ship bucks and groans as something breaks inside. Warning lights are flashing all over the ship for a few seconds, and everything sort of dies away, and a warning klaxon sounds, but then fades into a crackle of static. You know it's bad. What do you do? Hmm. Uh, I told you we shouldn't have duct taped together the console before we left. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the engineering and do an engineering check and do some All right. mechanical stuff. <laughs> Go do some mechanic stuff. That's why the ship Dope. is coming together so nicely, because you're always yeah. back there doing mechanic stuff. Uh, you rush yeah, into the engine yeah, room. This is a role-playing game, so I can be whatever I want to be, even though in real life I don't know how anything works. So, thanks. so true. <laughs> I'm a you rush girl. into the engine room, which is a small cramped space, and it is filled with this acrid smoke that you like have to, like, like let it billow out you almost choke on it as it fills the rest of the ship uh then you get back in there and you see that the coolant tank has cracked which is the most immediate and deadly problem so you set to fixing it before this whole ship literally explodes with you on it which would be a real real damper on your day go ahead and make that engineering check <laughs> shows over <up our> kids <laughs> <laughs> This is it. Uh, Goodbye, yeah. everybody. Goodbye. We did our best. Our find is super hard, did you know? Oh, no. Uh, that is it. I will let you know that my engineering is a plus 13, and I rolled an 18. Mm. So that's a really Ooh. big number, Whoa. isn't it? Oh. 32. This is, <laughs> it is indeed. Uh, this is the kind of thing that you have to deal with all the time. You, you, you get some more duct tape. Uh, you patch up the coolant tank. Uh, you realize that this ship is still in dire trouble, but it isn't going to just explode in the next 30 seconds. And that's about as good as you can do as we turn our attention back to the bunks with Sem. Mm. You are in your bunk when you are nearly thrown out of it as the ship lurches oh. in a sudden maneuver from Zane. Uh, you see Nuya run past you as the en to the engines and moments later, you hear a muffled but unmistakably angry and pained cry from the lavatory hatch. Some equipment has fallen across the hatch, blocking it shut, and someone is still inside, pounding on the door frantically and screaming to be let out. The oh, door, you, you go over there, the door is not only blocked, but it seems to be actually stuck shut, which is a common problem aboard the ship. What do you do? Uh, Sam, who uh, uses she, her pronouns, walks over and she's got this sort of like tight sports bra cowl thing, but bulging out are these huge four, well, three sinewy, muscly arms and one sort of mechanical arm where a fourth would be. Uh, and she just walks over to it and sort of pats the door and she says, Oh, hello. Hello, someone stuck inside. This is Sam. Hi. Uh... Dwight, you are uh, <laughs> on the other side of this hat, and Sam is either messing with you or uh, kind of in her own space, which she sometimes get in, gets into. Uh, you're not sure, but either way, you you can't get out of this lavatory. Like you are like like something is blocking the door, or it's just stuck, or something. And you got totally thrown around after the ship just like did it. Maybe Zane's up there doing barrel rolls again. You don't know, but it's. It's not a pretty sight in here. Things are things are a problem for you. Uh, what do you do? You hear Sam oh talking to you on the other side of the door. Sam, oh my gosh, is that you? Oh, this happened again. I don't know why I'm always the one that gets stuck inside of places and then I can't get out, but like, I, are you able to open it? Um, oh, I mean, it's not yes. that bad of a situation. 
situation. I mean, I think last time I spent maybe like 10 hours in here, but um, I mean, it can't be that bad this time, right? Yes. Right? Sam will help you, you are puny, tiny little creature. I will use my large muscles to wrench this door free. Oh, Sam, uh, thank and you, I you're like, so strong. <laughs> I, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> and she would like to uh, break the door open with her bulging muscles. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sounds like an athletics check for to me. Uh huh. Love to see it. Awesome, awesome. So with that plus ten, that makes that five a fifteen. <laughs> Sam is nothing if not strong, and you just, uh, even though the, the you don't have a good grip, just all four arms straining and bulging, and soon the, they basically <gasps> just rip the door open. With and the Dwight power of comes drumming! Out. <laughs> <laughs> the power of drumming <laughs> prevails. Uh, the Thank lavatory you. hatch gives way. You sort of like tumble out into the ship's common area at Sam's feet. It's always a mess in there, but now is a very special case. Whatever shook the ship sent everything tumbling into disarray, and you are suddenly aware that all of the safety regulations mandating things on ships be stowed and tied down that no one has paid attention to since about ever on Mama's Little Helper are actually valuable. Uh, one object that you notice uh, nearly stops your heart because one of <gasps> Sem's drumsticks lies <gasps> broken beneath a fallen amp, snapped cleanly in two pieces. Sem! is going to go ballistic if she sees that. As is, she's currently distracted trying to get some of the fallen crates strapped back down. What do you do? Oh, um, uh, Sam. <laughs> okay, yes. so, um, oh, um, you know, I I think that perhaps uh, Nuya may need your help. We should definitely go check on everyone else to make sure that no one else is stuck in very uncomfortable, very small spaces. Um, but go this way, um, definitely yes. this way. There's some, there's some things. Um, you, yeah. Um, I will yeah, let's protect go. you from getting squashed oh, no. by these boxes. Oh no. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll do a little bit of cleaning. Uh, you just go find Nuya, and everything's gonna be totally fine. Just remember, like, keep thinking of the bright lights and the starry sky, and keep that positive bright mental light. attitude. Oh yes. 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 Live, laugh, mm -hmm. love. Go find Nuya. I understand. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> great. <laughs> Uh, and as soon as she turns away, I would like to kind of like bend down very casually and pick up the broken drumstick and kind of tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Okay, you tuck it away. Uh, hoping that Sam has some spares and won't <laughs> notice this one has gone missing. Um, the immediate threat mm -hmm. is... What? What'd you got for me? I, I have gone to find Nuya. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You find Nuya in the... Uh, she's just finishing up patching the coolant tank and getting everything back into place, making sure that the engine can limp along just a little bit further. Uh, Nuya, you know that the immediate threat is over, but Mama's little helper is practically dead in the water or the vacuum in this particular case. You have just enough control over the maneuvering thrusters to point the ship towards a small way station your computer logs as buzzes. Nuya, you find that the real problem is that the manifold coil, manifold coil is warped beyond repair. If you don't find a replacement on that station, you're not going to make it off that rock, uh, uh, off that rock, let alone to Songbird Station for your gig. As you approach the asteroid with a small station sort of perched on it, you see what looks like a diner and fueling station. There are several transports and cargo ships parked on the surface, and like it or not, yours is about to join them because there is no way to get your busted ship anywhere more civilized than this. Zane, you manage to touch down, and as you kill the engines, it sounds like they're not going to start again unless you Ooh. find the part that Nuya has, Nuya has been talking about. However, before you is this sort of diner way station. You see a glowing, it flickers. Some of the letters uh, are, are, are no longer lit, but there it's uh, presumably says buzzes. Hmm. What do you do? All right. I'm just kind of I yelling back. Of you. Or I'm just kind of yelling back. Is anyone dead? Zany, baby, what do you do to the ship, Zany? Not, oh, my I didn't do anything to the ship. The ship did this thing to me. It's a good thing you are so, so beautiful, but so, That's so dumb. That's true. 
Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> they, they call me Zimbo Himbo. Like, what? Can you blame me? Who calls oh, so you, you Zimbo us. Himbo? I don't... I don't know. Um, it'll catch on some point. Maybe. Maybe. Let's put that on the list, I was thinking, then. I was thinking of making it a song, you know? Zimbo Himbo, he Ooh. does limbo. Like, it's, 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 it's catchy. It's, it's, it's. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. yeah, exactly. I feel it. Exactly. It has yeah. rhythm. Yeah, yeah. And now we're not talking will, about me messing up I the ship. I will make a note. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, awesome. the ship. So if we don't um, get, um, you know, a part, uh, hopefully they have something here to help us fix our ship, we're not going anywhere. So um, if you all want to get snacks, you maybe do that, and I will try yes. to fix this ship. Yeah. I do yeah. love snacks. What do you want? Uh, what do I want from the... Yeah. That, I don't really need to eat. I have this <clears throat> clear spindle Aeon Stone in my inventory, and it makes oh. me just kind of, like, not hungry, so... I like to... You <laughs> know, I'm trying to, say, hey, I'm trying to save money. We had to use duct tape to fix that, and I don't think that's going to be about, like, about, like, hunger. Sometimes you just eat food because it tastes good, you know? But, well, it costs money. We don't really have, like, um, a lot of it. I would, like... like okay, I think I have like 100 more... credits. But that's that's definitely more of the glass is half empty sort of mentality. And remember, we've been working on the whole, you know, glass is half full instead. So we're very grateful for the things that we have. And we're oh. totally going to be just fine moving forward. Mm -hmm. Who's yeah, still drinking out of glassware? I feel like, you know, we've sort of evolved past that uh, mentally, It's just like physically. a term that, like, they used so long ago, you know, I'm just... <laughs> trying to like see if like you know bringing back some of the old school lingo is gonna work because we might be able to use it in some of our music i don't know i'm working with it okay um that sounds great i your appreciate glass your positivity brass, but i prefer copper <laughs> i don't are you speaking we'll a language on that, that i do not know i read it in do books. not worry we will go and find the mysterious part that you need for us to continue our journey and win this song contest what part is it yeah, again yeah. Um, I definitely know what it is. I remember the it. The manifold and, uh, coil, yeah. which is what you said. I yeah, did say that it's earlier. not manifest yeah. destiny. That's what it no, is. No, uh, that's not what Ooh. it is. Don't ask. If you, we're asking around for the part, say the first one, not the second one, or else we're not going to find it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's a good point. Makes sense. We uh, shall be successful. Come along, Zany and Dwin. Yeah. I'm Can really I, good. I, will, I will go look for the part by myself, yes. <laughs> Oh wait, were you? <laughs> oh, you're going to go. Uh, wait, yeah. you're looking for the part, not coming to eat. We can, we can do both. Like we can get food. Oh, we're doing. And okay. find yeah. the part. It looks oh, like yeah. it is a one-stop shop. Oh, oh right, because it is the only building yes. on this asteroid. Okay. Uh, yep. Let's get. We're doing that one. Yep. Combining forces. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I Julia. Can, we... I... Oh no! Go ahead. We'll find the glasses. I don't, we're not, we're not looking for glass. Remember, we're looking for a part, not for, okay. I don't, there's a lot of analogies. It's very confusing. Mm. I uh, <clears throat> I go to the, the hull door and to open it, you've got to kind of like twist it a certain way and like <laughs> kick it on the top and the bottom and then like move like a sticker that's holding the whole thing together. <laughs> you open there a lock. It just sort of falls open. <clears throat> it just falls off the hinge. We're like, we gotta take that back. <laughs> oh. I mean, all things considered, the fact that we've made it this far and haven't died or blow it up is like kind of a, testament to the fact that we were made for this like we were made to win this contest yes yeah or we're idiots but i don't know Still hey you could idiot. be both yep. oh yeah that's true actually. idiots could have been made to win this contest you don't know yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> only, only the astral entities know <laughs> we want so yeah we head towards China. buzzes what is this thing we're you called gather yourselves oil? The manifold, manifold coil. The manifold, manifold. coil. <laughs> Every time manifest, I immediately forgot. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many words. You head into buzzes. And uh, diner is a very strong word for what this place is. There's a collection of vending machines. There's an auto bar. There's a hot dog station with various goopy fixins certain to plug up Goop. all of your major arteries. Overseeing the pay stand, there is a pale, thin Verthani standing behind a bar who barely glances at you when you enter. What do you do? Hi. <laughs> Walk up to the bar. The Verthani kind of looks at you. Uh, you're looking at his, he's got a, a name tag 
This must be Buzz himself. Oh. And he just kind of sighs. Oh. What do you want? Oh, goodness. You seem like maybe you could, uh, you know, use a little bit of a cheery pick me up. Um, hi, I'm Dwin, and these are my friends. Um, we're in a band. Um, if you like music, we're really good at, um, you know, performing music. And so maybe we could put a smile on your face. Are you face gonna or order do you like something? Music? Do you want Nutri Chips oh. or a drink uh, or a hot yeah. dog? Um, I will have a drink. Um, do you have anything blue? Dub a D. Okay. Blue drink. <laughs> Grabs Thank a you. glass, wipes it out real quick. Pours the grabs some plastic bottle of something from under the bar, pours it in, and it's blue. And he just slides it over to you. Three credits. I scan my uh, my credits and I take a sip. It's horrible, but it's blue, oh. and that's what you asked for. <laughs> you know what? This is delicious. Thank you. Um, uh, do you guys want to get anything? Um, there's lots of drinks. Uh, my dear friend, we are also in the market for your other supplies, if you know what Sam is saying. Um, uh, let me interject really quick. Uh, what Sam is saying is that we're looking for a manifold coil. We're not looking for, I don't, just whatever that innuendo tone that uh, <gasps> she just used right now. I don't, I'm a little, I don't want you to misunderstand. We're looking for a manifold coil. They're looking yeah. for snacks. I yeah. would like the this manifold coil. This is what coil. Sam said. And nothing extra, thank you. Um, but I mean, you know, if you got, if you all want something, I'm not. I'm okay. Yes. Same. Uh, Buzz, Buzz, like looks around. He lifts a towel. He overturns a cup. Oh, manifold coils all out. <laughs> Can't. Uh, oh, oops. Could well, you check in? Uh, you want something blue yep. too? Three credits. Um. No, thank you to the blue thing. As you're yeah. standing there, <clears throat> you hear like a chime and then you hear uh, just 10 credits. Come on and get it. Put a little two in your heart deck tone. <gasps> and when you hear that, like you see Buzz, he like clenches his fists ever so slightly. And then the song is over and he's like, oh. so are you going to order something? Like what? what? Just oh, 10 right. credits. Uh, no, I'll back you up as you start going. You to be bad. What? You don't like music? I, we like music, but the stupid jukebox has been broken for like six months now. And it just won't stop playing at once. Uh, it doesn't matter. Look, are you going to order something? I am very busy, so I have a lot to do. So, um, you, you know, you, maybe you, just uh, go somewhere else. Is he this is gonna... busy? <laughs> no, not at all. There's like nobody <laughs> else around. And all the other patrons are just sitting there nursing drinks, eating Nutri chips. Like uh he so when when you are like looking around after he says that, like Buzz like picks up a glass and starts wiping it. And he's like, I'm very busy, a lot of side work to do here, so uh Look, if you're looking for, uh, you can use the infosphere terminal, maybe call a mechanic to come here, but I don't have anything, so leave me alone. Okay. I'm gonna go just um, sit next to the jukebox while everyone else is doing stuff. Sure. I want to memorize this song. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna follow so, Zane. Yeah, sure. same. So what I want is like okay. Zane is like memorizing the song and sort of singing it out loud as it's happening. Sem is gonna start like a stomp routine with like the things around the bar of just like hitting like digga 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 like adding into a remix of this jingle. <laughs> oh, Zane, okay. I, I just I just thought of something real quick though. If the song is playing over and over and over again, maybe. Maybe he wants to hear something different. Maybe we could try out our newest track. Which one? Space Bus Stop. Space Bus Stop. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that one's really but are good. We, so. Are we doing Are we doing Space Bus Stop before the apocalypse or after the apocalypse? Ooh, before the apocalypse. No, no, no. Wait, no. Yeah. After the apocalypse. After, <laughs> yeah. Make it Make it new age. It's more yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. 
I mean, if he wants to hear something new, I mean, that would be a good one to test out. We haven't necessarily done it in front of audiences yet, so. <laughs> oh, so then it's like a, it's like a, it's like a gift of a show, you know? Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're so <laughs> kind hearted. I think I mean, he said the drinks like, were the three credits, but um, we can play. Really, if you want to rehearse, we don't maybe, really, we haven't rehearsed we, in weeks. Hmm. Well, maybe uh -huh. if we just did something really nice for him, maybe he uh -huh. would all of a sudden maybe remember that there's some things that he could tell us, so. Plus, oh. Nuria, Nuria, darling, don't you feel yes. it? The music, it is in the air. We are merely capturing it and reproducing it back. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, um, uh, no, I'm down to practice. Like I said, we really should practice if we're gonna do this, uh, competition. I don't think we've, uh, practiced in weeks, um, but, you know, uh, I believe I, I understand, uh, uh, do we, do we, do I, do we, uh, do I? Do I, do we, do I, 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 I must have not written down that last letter, I was in a hurry, um, but I believe Dwin's suggestion that we use music as coercion is something I'd be... Super down for. I get my tiny <laughs> bass up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, can can music fix a jukebox? Is my other question. Uh, because I would like to fix this jukebox. Uh, while we're playing this music. Ooh, as an engineer. <laughs> so um, well, uh, you guys had gone over to the jukebox. So you, you mm -hmm. get over there. Uh, you see that it's a standard deck tones model, and it doesn't look like it's actually broken. The problem is that it, you, you see a flashing thing that says the subscription has run out. And every so often, it just plays oh, the jingle. And credits. as you're standing there, it even does it again. You know, just 10 credits, come on and get it. Put a little tool in your heart, deck tones. And of course, when that broke. goes out, you see that not just Buzz seems to like wince, but like every patron in buzzes is like sitting there and like you get the sense that at any time they're just gonna burn this place to the ground like they hate like this must have been going on for for and then every you know three minutes for the last several months you surprise this place is still standing you can't really fix it because uh but you can disable the power of the jukebox and stop the tone uh, can I do a thing? Can I do that thing where, like, if you all remember in the 90s, you could put a black box on your TV and it would suddenly have every channel? Uh, what are you talking about? That sounds illegal. I don't know. I heard about it on the internet. I've never seen it in my life, especially not my entire childhood. <laughs> can we do this in space, Jim? Uh, can, we not, can we not do it? So, no, you, you can attempt to go ahead and make. Um, Computers Hacking. check for Ooh. me. Okay. Oh, I don't have that. What uh, skill should I use then? I don't have. I don't have a skill. <laughs> Is that? I just thought it was uh, the engineering. Uh, intelligence. Uh, intelligence. Intelligence is the base for computers. If you don't, nobody has, if nobody has that and wants to get into it. Listen though. Listen though. I did roll a nineteen plus hey. four. Is hey. Three. Hey. You do manage to get in there. Uh, and everything's sort of set to base access. And what you find uh, is that what had happened was that Buzz had actually already done that. Um, there, this this place actually was running uh, with illegal music for like uh, the better part of a decade. But then there was a firmware update about a, a couple of months ago that reset everything, and now that fixed the 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 back door that buzz had used and now it's only stuck on this and you think with enough time you could probably build a device but you also mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. that it would be like a whole day's worth of work and okay it's highly illegal a deck tones has a fairly robust um uh, litigation team and if they ever discovered that you had done that your days of having money uh will never come let alone <laughs> because they will take you for everything that you have. <laughs> I have one more suggestion about uh -huh. this thing. Okay. I want to tell Buzz how to do this himself when he has the time, but I don't want to write it down on paper because that's bad to leave a paper trail. So I would like to <laughs> sing a song about how he should <gasps> fix his black box. <laughs> piracy song. I love it. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, you can shut down at least temporarily the, the jukebox, giving you sort of free airtime. 
uh you guys what do you guys want to do the, the ballad of napster so this I think, I think i think we have two parts to this show because it feels like there's the pre-show performance, which is the black box ballad, and then we mm. come in swinging with space bus, uh, uh, space bus stop afterwards. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Michelle, did are you? Did you I'm actually have a song? Um, I can make one up. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Two, three, four. <laughs> when you wanna. <laughs> Get your songs, but you don't want to pay the subscription price. No, you got to no, put no. the blue wire into the red area and make sure you split it and then turn it around and make sure you hit it three or four times and you're going to bypass that security feature. And then go to the, the stop. Take it away. Okay. Space, okay. space, 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 stop. Bus, 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 space, bus, stop. Take it away, Zane. I've been sitting here, waiting here, wondering when the asteroid bust would arrive and then take me away to somewhere new. The space bus stop is part of my great view. Space bus stop, bus stop. stop. Cannot stop this ride. Space bus stop. Space bus, bus, bus stop. stop. Bus Where strangers do coincide. Space bus stop. Mm, consensually. <laughs> consensually. <laughs> I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to have all of you roll a Star performance Finder? musician yeah. check. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> God. Holy shit, I rolled again. And I tell you <laughs> what, for, for your excellent lyrics, um, uh, Zane, uh, Nuya, and Dwin, give yourselves a plus two bonus to your check. Nice, Ooh. nice, nice. That's a lot. <laughs> is, is performance the profession musician skill? Yes. Or is it performance? Yes, okay. yes. Prefer yeah, oh, no. Sorry, profession musician, yes. Oh, heaven. 27. Ooh. 31. Hey. Dang. 34. Uh, so. Yeah! That's our lead man. Wow. Oh, Zayna, you are no. so beautiful. Oh, when you glisten, uh, when you sing. That's right. <laughs> you, you play through these songs, and everybody's getting really into it. Like, maybe it's just the fact that hey, you guys feeling like you're all on point like this is this is yeah. top neon and no qual and uh plus they haven't had any exposure to anything but that stupid jingle for months now and uh they get super into it as you finish your little set everybody is clapping and cheering and a uh, a tough looking vest in all black armor approaches you as you are sort of uh you know standing there uh, coming down from the high of your performance uh, he comes right up next to you, Zane, and claps a scaly paw on the back of your shoulder that nearly knocks you yeah. over. He says, oh, oh, damn, I thought you all had signed your own death warrants when you took that stage, but you're actually pretty good. Hey, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I overheard you're in kind of a bad spot, and I can't fix your bus, but uh, I can give you a lift. I'm taking off, yeah. and I got room for you and your gear if you want to ride. Name's Carden, by the way. Carden. Uh, Solid. That'd be amazing. Yeah. How, how does that sound, man? Like, what do you think? It's uh, I would love to do less work yes. um, on that tin can. Yeah, so absolutely, yeah. please. Yeah. It is fitting for us. Yes. Appreciate you. Sure. Uh, uh, where are you? Uh, where are you headed to? We you are need going to, to like a mechanic shop or something else. Oh, yes. Okay. That's a good question. Where are we going? If if there is uh, somewhere Sunbird's close, you know what? Ed, we're, we're looking like yeah, yeah. If you can find us a place that like sells parts and maybe it'll help us find the part that we're looking for, you know, like like some sort of trade station or something. Yeah, sure. There's a place I know. Uh, yeah, Eleven, twelve hour jaunt, and we'll get you there. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Do you have the time for that? Uh. uh. 
What time do we have yeah, to be at the Sam, contest? you know that that would that you would miss the gig if you oh. if you went to the repair shop. No, oh, no. That would be too much it. time. We can't. We cannot. I cannot be late. We cannot me, be late. I, I mean, like we we could just ask them to take us to Songbird Station, I guess. Like. Oh, could you take oh, us yeah, our I, whole way? I'll take your songbird. That's fine. Yeah, wherever you want to yeah. go. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm game. Yeah, let's just go straight there. That'd be dope. Perfect. <laughs> Listen, we yeah, need to go as fast as you possibly can. Oh, Safe yeah. Don't no, no worry. Stain of Anger is super fast. Super fast. Not a problem. It's but, called what now? Yeah, it's definitely. called the what now? What is your ship called? The Saint of Anger. Oh. Saint of Anger. It's metal. Okay. Yeah. And made of metal, so nice. it's like double metal. Double metal. Yeah, this guy gets it. It is. Yeah. I like. I like it. What'd you say your name was? Zane. Yeah. This this Zane, this guy yeah. gets it. Yeah, I do. Word. Oh, uh, Zane! Don't forget, you wanted people to start calling you Z Zany, Shaney, Zimbo, 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 Zimbo Himbo. <laughs> ah, yes. So, um, yeah. Yeah. pardon if you please. Uh, don't forget that previous information. Call. Uh, him, uh, Zimbo Himbo. Thank you. Z Z Zimbo, Himbo. hey, what a, you, you're the boss. Zimbo Himbo. I'm, I'm here for yeah. it. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah. Here, we'll get you loaded up onto the ship. So, oh, yes. So, so uh, like, you get your up the ship? loaded up. What's that? Sam yeah. looks really you your, cool. Uh, She's got all of her muscles bulging as she takes the equipment. She, we don't need roadies. <laughs> We've got Sam. <laughs> yeah. These four arms are all the roadies we need. Yes. Uh, load up all of your equipment the onto the Saint of Anger. What was that? How long will the journey take, you think, to get there? Uh, going straight there, it shouldn't be. I mean, you should get there plenty of time to before the festival. Uh, probably, yeah. if you were on Mama's Little Helper, it would probably have taken four to five hours. Uh, you know, the gig starts in eight, so it'd be cutting a little close, but you have enough time to just kind of relax and, and get yourselves in, in performance mode. Uh, you're not sure how fast the Saint of Anger can move, but I will allow a piloting check uh, or an engineering check if anybody examining the ship wants to sort of try to get a gauge for what kind of vessel you're getting on. I'd like to do so. I'd like to make a piloting check about that. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, 17. Seventeen. Uh, this looks like a, a beefier kind of ship. Uh, right. Some you're, you're noticing some weapon emplacements, uh, a little bit thicker hull plating, uh, signs of a shield generator, um, and then you're looking at the vest again. You know they got this like you know heavy armor, uh, a yeah. flame dash coat strapped across their back, and you realize that like like many of the people at Buzzes, this is probably a rough and tumble sort. But you're in the diaspora, and in the diaspora. Right. Like this is the this is the region of space ruled by space pirates. So anybody uh, would be wise to carry. I mean, you you as even as musicians, you you all carry your own personal weapons just just for just in case. Just make sure people don't mess with you. Um, but it's it's quite possible. You're thinking maybe this best works as some kind of mercenary or something. Uh, seems friendly um, enough. Would I? Dope. Would I? Would I be able to take 10 minutes uh, to cast Mending on the broken drumstick that I have? <gasps> Send? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Once you get up so on, like uh, once everything's loaded up. Private. Right, right. So you wait until Sam is like really involved in loading up all the equipment. And while she's distracted, oh. you uh, quickly uh, cast your spell and the stick, it, you know, it's now one in all in one piece and ready to go. Um, I will go to Sam then. Oh, um, hey, Sam. <laughs> um, yes, so buddy, small, look, fragile I'm... creature. Oh, yes. Um, I think you dropped this. And I'll hang up. Oh. I'll hand. <laughs> Scary. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, you are so small and so breakable, yet so sweet. Oh, the oh, thoughts <laughs> that race through your tiny little brain to There's have a lot such of capacity. Them. Oh, and look, this one is special. And she turns it around and you can see that there's an autograph from Zany that's written oh. on this one drumstick. Hey. Oh, I, I cannot okay. believe that I lost it. Oh, no worries, no worries. Uh, I'm just so happy I saw it. <laughs> there you go. You have my gratitude. 
and she puts it away. I love Sam. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so you get loaded up on this on this ship, and there's enough room for everybody and all the equipment. Everything gets strapped down, and the Saint of Anger lifts off of the you know small asteroid way station and begins plotting a course through the diaspora towards Songbird Station. You know that uh, uh, with the ship that you're looking at, uh, it'd probably be get there a little bit quicker than you oh. would have on Mama's Little Helper. So you're probably looking at about three hours worth of worth of travel. Get there, plenty of time to rehearse your set, be there for sound check, and then put on the performance of a lifetime so that you can get signed by As Your Note, and then you'll be big time. Then this will all have been worth it. Uh, is there anything that anybody wants to be doing on your little three-hour jaunt? Yes, I believe we have one more song that we have not rehearsed yet. I have put it on the set list, but I really think this one will be a crowd pleaser. It's called Everybody Loves Zoe. You know Zoe, very, very <laughs> popular. Oh and I just think yes. if if we did the ode to Zoe, it would capture that spirit and make people happy. I think that's such a good idea. Yeah. That's an excellent. Five, uh, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Everybody loves Zoe. Everybody loves Zoe. Everybody <laughs> loves Zoe. Everybody <laughs> loves Zoe. Everybody <laughs> loves Zoe. Everybody loves Zoe. Everybody loves Everybody loves Everybody And then the pyrotechnics. <laughs> Okay, we don't have money for that, so you're gonna have to imagine what that looks uh, like. Uh, um, the, I will do this with my arms. Oh, okay. Um, we could probably. And then I start um, again. Everybody uh, loves Zo. Everybody loves Zo. Everybody loves Zo. Everybody loves Zo. And then the big vocal solo from Zany Go. Everybody. Oh, you're perfect, baby. And that's no, it. Sorry. We've Glorious. got it. Oh, okay. And <laughs> yeah, that's how we're going to win this. That was a really good rehearsal. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I think that was really good. Like, I feel really yeah. good about it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Very rhythmic. It's very catchy. Mm. I like it. And the truth. And do you know who would really like it? Zo. Who? Zo, Zo. would really, really be impressed Zo. by this. I just... I just have this gut instinct that he would just be so impressed. <laughs> oh, I think hmm. this too. So there's a... Z uh, Zane, I can see you're a little lost. Uh, Zoe is this, uh, you know, he's the... Uh, what, what's, what's a good analogy? The uh, not mean version of uh, Ellen, a space Ellen that exists. <laughs> and, uh, I was going to say he's like I the undead what... Ryan Seacrest, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's Ellen. a good one. That's a better... <laughs> space yeah. Ellen. <laughs> And I don't know a lot of um, media personalities that do talk shows that are sort of a daytime mm. situation, but uh, so nighttime is more my just, You're still just playing while do <laughs> while having that. Just casually. Um, yeah. A real a real actor needs a prop to be a character, <laughs> as you well know. Uh, so anyway, uh, what I'm trying to explain to Zane is that uh, this is a great cross marketing scheme to get people who love one property to like another property mm. by uh, you know. Doing a little collaboration. Oh, and Zoe like, really loves. Smart. Sorry, um, Zoe just loves to hand out like TV shows to people, and so <laughs> you never know, like if if he were to catch wind of our um, our new single, like devoted to him, you never know, we might get like our own show. So I think this is like a plan B. This whole songbird thing doesn't work out. Is that what I'm hearing? No, it will be like a show about our our like music and us touring okay. and you know being a band. It will like, be like a reality TV say. podcast. Yes, it will be yeah. two it's birds like you're doing... with one stone. Yeah, like when you do one thing, one performance, but you do split it up into like seven t kinds of media, and then people do listen to all of it, and it makes more money that way. I think that's what I'm hearing. It's a strategy we did, here. We did, we did, yeah, yeah. We, could, we could, like if we had our own show, we could make music for the show. We'd have our <gasps> own literal theme song. Yeah. Zane, oh my goodness, that was a really great brain. idea. Yeah. <laughs> God. 
Literally, like, what would we do? Uh, I'm so happy we're all really best friends. Uh, guys, aren't we so lucky to have each other? Uh, this just makes me so happy. Uh, I love My friendship. best friend uh, lives on Epsilon Station, and their name is Maple, so I mean, you guys <laughs> are my friends, but you know, I just want to be clear. I don't want to live in a lie, but uh, just stay true to the music, man. Yeah. Yeah. The music, it lives in all of us, and Sim can feel this. Great rehearsal. Um, yeah, so I think that was great that we rehearsed twice in the last two weeks. That's a, we're, we're, it's a record. <laughs> we have to we rehearse, especially, yeah, especially before the big performance, so. Yeah, just do it all at the end, on the end cap. You don't have to do any during the middle part mm. of our... But it's the fact that we did do it eventually that matters. That's... That's accurate. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you are all um, finishing it up, this impromptu rehearsal and uh, discussion of Zoe. It's Zoe! You notice a change in the sound of the engines, and you feel a shift in the course that you are heading on. Nothing's wrong, but Cardin may have decided that you were going to go elsewhere. You're not sure. You finish up in the in the like crew lounge, and uh, what do you do? That feels wrong. I don't like that. Yes, you have good instincts. I trust you. Um, but he kind of scares me. Oh, I kind of thought since you're the band leader that you would uh, be the one who would be down for confrontation. Oh, like a yeah, sure. Emotion, Whatever. Emotion I'm just saying it scares me. Oh. I don't mind. Like, I, a lot of things scare me. <laughs> it's, oh. it's how I met my first girlfriend. Yeah, she'll go talk to him. <laughs> Go. Are you going to date? Want to date? Maybe. Okay. We'll keep it I will it. tell it goes. you. <laughs> I'm not going to help with this, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Sam. Why? Sam is gonna go behind uh, Zane just to look intimidating as the like the muscle. Hmm. Yeah. Sure, sure. You head to the bridge and you see Cardin is uh, locking in. He's over the console. Sees you both come in. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Says, "Ah, oh, yeah, I was uh, just about to come back there and tell you we're, we're headed yeah. to your little songbird station. That's that's not a problem. I do have. I got one stop to make." Before we do, oh. though, Lee, where is that? Oh, uh, just just up here. It's fine. What? I do not think you understand the urgency of this song contest. It is about to begin. Yeah. Why? Why are you being vague? Look, yeah, no, I, I get you. This is this is five ten minutes tops. It, it's fine. Calm do you down, need help? birds. Like, I, we got this. Yeah, yeah, birds. Do you need help at all? Like. <laughs> We could cheer you on or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say that. that yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, good, good, good point, Zimbo Himbo. See, call you a Himbo, hey. but I think you pick up on more than than people give you credit for. Yeah, no, That's there's crazy. a situation you can help me out with in return for oh. me taking you into your, your, your little gig. Yeah. So uh, that's sure. exactly what's going to happen here. As you're looking at the... Troubles. Uh, as you're looking at the, the field ahead of the ship, you see that you are actually headed towards a massive derelict cargo hauler. And it is marked as the RS Shelter in large blocky letters across the hall. There are a few smaller ships that are docked with this massive derelict freighter that bear the insignia of a flaming mastiff. Uh, Cardin docks the Saint of Anger near one of these ships and then stands up from the captain's chair. He says, all right, all right. So we're just we're just going to go see a friend of mine. I just need you to suit up. And uh, yeah, you're armed. That's good. So safety's off because, you know, who knows what could happen out there, right? Cardin then grabs the mm -hmm. flame Doshko that they hung up on the wall, powers it on. The reddish glow of the plasma illuminates their face in a sinister light says, now, just remember, I'm your ticket to this big gig. So mm -hmm. you play along and help me help you. And this will all work out just fine, right? 
and he starts heading towards the statue <laughs> or the, the yeah the hatch. Um, I do have a uh, question, yes. uh, Cardin. Uh, just I want to be really clear. Um, you're not you're not making us part of the bad guys because if you are, you have to tell us. It's uh, part of the space rules. No, no, we're. Uh, yeah, we're we're uh, those uh, the diamond touch. Okay, my friends, possibly bad guys. That's all oh. we should really focus on there, right? But not you. Definitely you're, different than your, you're different than your friends. So they I mean. are definitely bad guys, and that's okay. what we want to focus are... on. Yeah, right. And then we oh, are neutral. Uh, I'm Cardin. Um, I'm the one helping you get to your big gig. Am I not? Yeah. Uh, I mean. Not really. Okay. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Um, hey, look, you know, Carter, we're right behind this, you. Yeah, yeah, um, this, I don't know, it, this kind of feels a little bit weird. Um, it kind of feels like maybe we're gonna be getting into some sort of weird trouble. Um, but I'd like all of us to try to maintain that positive outlook uh, before <laughs> anything does happen or before we want to fight anything. Maybe we could, you know, just really focus on, um, you know, maybe uh, uh, offering friendship first. Um, you know, and just to, to just kind of like brighten their spirits up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Listen, Dwin, uh, I like, yeah. I see, I can see what you're putting down. Uh, but what I want to tell you is that Cardin did just say to use lethal force. So I think we're going to have to do some <clears throat> space murder. Um, not sure how we yeah. all feel about that. Yeah, oh, but um, like, for us, it'll be an amazing song after like the story is told. Like, can you imagine? Okay. Like like shelter kelter because we're at RS shelter. Like it's gonna be. Like... Oh, I mean, okay. Like, I, I, see it. I see it. I don't know, but it just rhymes. I'm gonna there, write that down. There's sometimes yeah. sacrifices that must be made for us to achieve greatness. Twin, Plus, and you are small, but there is greatness within you, and we must okay. extract it. This oh. means that, like, okay. Cardin's friends will only be good people, because we'll get rid of the bad ones. I think he said his friends are bad ones. Yeah, but if we get well, rid of them, then he doesn't have bad friends anymore. I see, hmm. so this we're, is true. We're, we're turning the tables. Wait, hmm. I yes. don't like to consider anyone to be bad, because there is good in everyone, but um, I'm thinking now, like, well, what if this uh, bad, yeah, these bad people, <laughs> um, what if it's not them and it's really Cardin, who's like the bad person? <laughs> I got a counterpoint for you, you guys here, it's like a, you guys hear a sharp clang on the deck as Cardin smacks the butt of the flame dashko against the deck plating and says, hey, are we, are we done with the pep talk? Yeah. Yeah, you guys go, got a go. gig, do you not? You're you're the ones yeah, on a time yeah. limit. So uh, yes. okay, uh, opens the hatch and sort of ushers you out <laughs> onto. Uh, as you exit, you are sort of standing in this Fully massive suited. like docking bay area on this derelict freighter, um, and you see that across the bay there are several tough-looking mercenaries who are that are gathered. They wear patchwork armor. Yeah, and they all have that flaming mastiff logo and carry nasty looking weapons. Anybody who wants to could make a culture check if you would like. <gasps> I'm very good at that one. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Thing. But I do want to ask, what is a do you, when you say mastiff? Do you mean like the dog, or what? What, what is? What are we talking yeah, about? it looks like a, a very okay. like a, like a fiery, brutish looking dog. Yeah, a dog. I didn't know if the word mastiff meant something else, but a dog. Mm, Go on. That's a fair question in sci-fi. Now I know. <laughs> I'm a cultural survivor. It's true. Sounds like Ooh. a shipboard too. So. Oh yeah, mass. Eighteen plus twelve is thirty. Plus a D six. <laughs> Thirty-five. You shouldn't let me be Zane. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the diaspora is a hive of scum and villainy, and <laughs> some of the scum are called the Diamond Tashtaris. Um, and at looking oh, at this logo, you realize that these apparently are Cardin's friends. They're smugglers. They're violent. They are not to be crossed. And uh, they, they're, they're, they're tough guys. They're tough guys. Um, you're not quite certain what Cardin is getting you involved in, but it's probably illegal and probably dangerous. Um, a Tashtari is actually colloquially called a laser dog. They are essentially big 
space dogs that can shoot lasers. <laughs> they are uh, oh. pretty nasty oh. to come across. So, um, anyway, you exit the ship. Uh, you see all of these mercenaries and smugglers arrayed before you. Uh, one of them steps forward and calls out. Says, Cardin, looks like you picked up some strays. I don't know what your game is, but I don't think there'll be much help, so you'd better just hand over that data module and walk away like a good little gecko. Cardin sort of bristles at the insult and pulls something off their belt. Says, open your mouth a little wider, Marwall. I'll chuck this right down your fat gullet. But rather than huck the data module across the docking bay, Cardin turns to you, Sem, and says, yes. time to make a little special delivery and then winks at you. Oh, yes, I understand what is happening, Wink. That was kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> Say the person called him a gecko. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so please. if you want, uh, we can actually pull ourselves over to the old Roll20 map. Oh. Uh, you are all arranged on the map. Um, and you've noticed as you step out into the docking oh, bay cool. that there is no gravity. Oh. oh yes. I put the rules for zero G in our oh, environment no. conditions, our little initiative yeah. tracker, tracker. Oh, hell yeah. But you are all just sort of floating there. Carden hands you this data module. Sam? Tells you to make a special delivery. He gives you a wink. Yeah, Sam. What do you do, Sam? Oh, Sam, uh, it, we're in contact with the ground right now, right? Or are we still hovering above it? Yeah, you can like, push it? off from where you are yeah. and go. So yeah. Yeah. Sam is going to grab this module and just like rocket themselves forward. She's going to just... Sure. Yeah. You go rocketing wow. forward uh, as you approach... Like yeah, everybody's like watching this happen as you float across. Um, it'll take, you know, in game terms, if you guys, does anybody else want to be doing anything as Sem floats closer and closer to Morwall? Uh, I want to pull out my static arc pistol. Whoa. Sure. You, you got a gun in hand. Uh, um, anybody I else? I think I would, I turn my base to the side and flip it over. And I go like this, and it unlocks, and a huge <gasps> uh, tactical baton comes out of it. Um, <laughs> Ooh, you have your tactical baton. I have a tactical <laughs> baton, and then I'm gonna. I want to follow behind uh, Sam. Okay, you're gonna follow behind. All right. Yeah. Uh, and I then can. Dwin, anything from you? Uh, I would like to kind of tuck myself behind Zane a little bit. Um, okay. I do not have access. To in roll 20 to move my character but uh, yeah i can't move my uh, uh, lady no. uh oh uh all right i'm gonna start assigning permissions and then <laughs> we'll so fix fun. all this but you are gonna move yourself <laughs> over behind uh zane. That, that's zane. um behind zane you should be able to move him now the soundtrack okay. is fire i don't care what no words mm -hmm. uh, right me not no. yet let me try reloading you not yet but i'm getting i'm getting to you right now new yeah uh, yeah and then I, I just now did Sam. You still can't? Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll refresh. Yeah, try <laughs> refreshing. If that doesn't work, well, we'll figure it out. Um, uh, okay. But Nuya, you wanted to follow, so I'll at least move you about halfway across the room. You can see that the cool. Diamond Tashtaris are all getting a little tense. They've all got plasma rifles in their hands, and they're watching you all arrange yourselves, but they don't do anything. Um, Sam? Mm -hmm. And Nuya, I need you both to make uh, acrobatics or athletics checks to stop yourselves yes. as you uh, get closer to your destinations there. Okay. A I'll use 16. athletics. That's a 25. 25. Nuya, you grab onto like one of these crates uh, and manage to stop yourself pretty, uh, pretty easily. Uh, what did you say, Sam? Sam got a 16 on athletics. 16. So you are floating right up to Morwall and you realize that you're not going to be able to stop yourself. And you just sort of oh, collide no, 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 no. with Morwall and he's like, oh, you idiot. And grabs <laughs> yes. you and like writes everything. And like he's sort of off kilter. You're off kilter. Uh, then he's, it, 
Oh, come on. What do you do? You got the data module in hand in one of your forearms. Yes. Uh, with this, uh, the data module, I will store it uh, in my pack as I use uh, use him as a launch pad at one of the enemies. Uh, oh, she's going to just, just full on for it. tackle. Yeah, the one in the lower left corner. I still can't quite move mine, but it's okay. Uh, the other corner. Gotcha. Oh, that's yeah. me pinging, but yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, yes. Um... Yeah, so she'll rock it off and just do a full-on uh, physical attack. She has a blade, a carbon steel curved blade. Mm. Carbon steel curved blade. Okay, uh, at this point, as you like quickly put away the data module and then launch yourself over Ooh. at one of these other mercenaries, uh, chaos breaks loose as Morwall is like, what kind of game are you idiots trying to play? And we'll go uh, ahead and roll initiative as things get crazy. Yeah! <laughs> I yell, we're artists! This is a process! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> process. Sam rolled a one! <laughs> oh no, oh. Sam, you needed much higher. <laughs> 30 20 over here. <laughs> nice. Ooh. That's a 17 for Zane. Nine! All right. Nine for Dwynite. It's Dwyn. <clears throat> Dwyn. Well, yeah, sorry. I said, sorry, I said your full name. My bad. Your full name. You're in trouble. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. New Year, sorry, I missed yours for some reason. Uh, Dirty 20, I threw it in. Oh, you did. You're right. So who am I missing on here? Oh, Sam. Yeah, sorry, Sam, what'd you get? With, what uh, was your five, total with a natural one? A five total. Five total. I'm going to go ahead and put you right there. All right. New Year. You can see Sem like tenses up as she's prepared to commit sudden unexpected violence. And you know <laughs> that it's time to act. Like things are about to go crazy and you have a moment to step in. What do you do? Um, I pull out, I have my baton out, but then I pull out You've got my the baton in hand. Tactical semi-auto pistol. Can I have two things? One in one thing, one yeah, one hand, two hands. Together. Yeah, they're both they're both one-handed weapons. You absolutely can. All right, I pull out my pistol, then I aim at this fella. And he's gonna get a little a little shot to the head. I was told to use lethal force, and my bandmates seem to agree with that. So I'm trying to, <laughs> you know, uh, accept that teamwork is a thing that I've got to learn. So I shoot. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, roll against EAC. All right, here we go. That is a uh... yikes. That's very good. Uh, Eighteen plus six is twenty-four. Twenty-four to hit. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. solid hit. Woof. That's one d six plus two. That's a two plus two. Four damage. <laughs> Four points yeah. of damage. And shoot off the tip of his ear. Hey. It's very. It's very interesting. Yep. You guys aren't really warriors. You're more of the artistic types, but you still score a hit. Uh, and it's the first damage of, you have a move action now. Is there any, oh no, you had yeah. drawn a pistol uh, no, and out. then fired. Right, I, yeah, I think uh, I've fixed the control for the tokens if anybody is uh, looking to move themselves at this point. So you can double check that. If hey, not, well, it worked for me. Around. Ain't no problem. Um, after yeah. you go, that very mercenary reacts with uh, like a, a, a snap reflexes, raises a uh, azimuth laser rifle, and tries to burn okay. a hole right through you, Nuya. Um, and oh, oh right. that is going to be a twenty-five to hit. So just you it feel a hits. burning lance. A burning lance of fiery pain. You're gonna take uh, five points of fire damage Yikes. as he okay. lights you up, and then pushes off the ground and launches himself toward you. Unfortunately, is going to have to make uh, as they collide. As he collides with you, I need you to make an acrobatics or athletics roll, as he does as well, just to make sure that he's not off kilter. Okay. Oof. No good. Uh, hoo -hoo -hoo, that is a natural one. Oh, uh, oh no. Plus seven, so an eight. 
an eight. Well, the bad news is that you are off kilter. While you're off kilter, you're flat footed and you take a minus two penalty to attack rolls. The good news is that he also failed. And as he collides with you, he's like spinning around now trying to get control of himself. <laughs> He is flat-footed, and he's going to take a minus two penalty to attack rolls. And we move on to Zane's turn. Zimbo okay. Himbo. Zimbo Himbo Zane, baby. Um, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna look at Dwin. Dwin, put your, put your hands up for me for a second. Do you do it? What next? Yeah. And then I'm, I'm going to, like, kick off their hands. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, to go towards uh, this thing, right? Here. Basically, yeah, just to just to go back. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah, sure. Really tiny, move in, in a straight movie? line in any direction. Um, okay. uh, in order, so when, make... when you sort of collide with the front of the forklift, you need to make an yeah. acrobatics check to see if you are off kilter or whether you're okay. Okay. Ooh, that's uh, it's a nineteen plus seven, twenty six. Yeah, you basically just sort of okay. gently grab onto the forklift and you're just hanging there and you're ready to go. You still have a standard action or another move action if you want. Wing around a shot with my uh, d d d static arc pistol. Nice. Uh, has a range nice. of 50. Uh, fired at the person right Ooh, next yeah. to Nuya. So cool. Nuya, okay. They're going to get a little bit of cover so that you, uh, because of Nuya, but because they're flat footed, it sort of evens out. So go ahead and roll your attack. Don't mess with my bandmates. <laughs> Uh, oh, dang. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 is a hit. You yeah, better be. Right. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, so that is uh, seven points of damage. Seven dang. points of electricity damage just sparks through them. They cry out in pain. They're already still trying to like catch themselves as they're sort of spinning off off target to hold they're having a bad a bad day in smugglerville over there but an excellent turn for zane i, I think uh, when the now... fires, it sounds almost like a testicle it was like boom oh i like it i like it uh it's now Morwall's turn and Morwall sort of sees you sam like tensing up to push off and says no no give me that data module you and starts to try to grab you uh, okay. as before you can launch yourself away. Uh, yeah. This is probably not going to, with a natural one, maybe hey. when you <laughs> bumped into him, he's off target. So he tries to grab onto you and you just easily shrug him off. Uh, and he's not able to grab onto you to get into your path and try to get that uh, data module. But then one of the other mercenaries uh, pushes off from the some like power uh power bank and starts uh -huh. launching themselves towards zane uh it's gonna take them the full round because they can only move half speed while you're launching yourself across space so to get the 30 feet they have to move two moves all the way across the room but then they're right next to you zane uh and you can see they has this like uh assault hammer in in his hand and he's like ah coming at you with that uh and then dwin you are next. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I were to go to my left, there's nothing really to stop me but a wall, right? That's correct. So you would move half speed. Yeah, that's a wall. So you would move half speed with one action, and then you would stop there, sort of like, sort of like freeze frame for now. But then at the start of your next turn, you automatically continue moving until you hit something that you can steady yourself against. Got it. Is this a wall over here? Yes, is that thing? is a wall, that okay. line there. Yep, absolutely. So then I will spend an action and propel myself toward the wall. Sure. You move at half speed, My... but then you'll just move in that direction. Okay. What's your, what's your speed? 40. So yeah, so 20 would be... So yeah, you can get to right there. Uh, and you're still floating in that direction, but that's where you sort of stop for now. Okay. Unless you want to keep going, you can you could use your other move action to like push yourself along the wall a little further. Nah, I'll, I'll stay here and then nah. uh, sure. she is going to cast Magic Missile on Ooh. the two guys in the back. 
Ooh, okay. So that's one missile at each. Roll, uh, roll them missiles. I will. And I want to know what Dwin's magic missile looks like. Ooh, yes. oh, it's super sparkly and fun. Okay, so, um... <laughs> So she's, she, at first, like, she's really, really little. And you just see this kind of, like, big, almost looks like a glitter blast, but it's like this little magical energy of glitter that just, like, poof. And then all of a sudden, it kind of all comes back and collects into, like, a solid form of glitter and uh, just start, flies through the air uh, like a rainbow. And um, once it hits these people, it, it explodes into glitter. Um, Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it cuts their corneas because glitter sucks. I'm gonna get it yeah, it's everywhere. It's only going to be three points of damage. That's good. <laughs> For magic missile. My puny, my puny magic missile. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right. Two bolts uh, split off, slamming one, slamming into Morwall, one slamming into the mercenary. Both of them cry out in pain as you are drifting towards that wall. At the end of your turn, we move on to Sam. You were yes. like all ready with a plan, but somehow everybody was just a little bit faster than you. <laughs> that happens Somehow. sometimes, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> yes, Sam has a plan and that plan is to adapt. Uh, and she's going to still... <laughs> follow this target of launching off of the guy that she got the uh, the device from at the other mercenary mm -hmm. that's now engaged with Nuya. Yeah. Uh, you can do that. The only thing that you have to do is make a, uh, an athletics or acrobatics check to uh, yes. see if you, when you, when you run into them, if you uh, are off kilter or not. That is a 26 athletics. This time you're all good. You sort of he's already off kilter, so I'm not going to have him roll a check because he's he can't really write himself against you at this point. Mm. Uh, but you just sort of like almost as you push off of more wall, then you as you're getting next to the mercenary, just sort of reach out and, and like use his body to stabilize yourself. Uh, mm. And you're right there. You have a standard action left. If However, that is, I'm going to uh -huh. give you a free perception check. OK. Oh, I need to check what Sam's perception is. Would that be wisdom? Wisdom, if you don't have uh, yeah. Yeah, anything else. So a 15? 15. You're moving across the space, mm. and it's getting a little bit louder. You didn't even really notice it at first. It's getting a little bit louder. From somewhere behind you, maybe like from in the pack, you're hearing this you look at you cast a glance over at Carden, who's looking at you like mouth agape like i i i winked you no i i winked get rid of it oh and so she throws the device well you grab it out of your back where you had stolen it and now you're standing there with it in your hands and you can see that there's this like the data module is sparking and shuddering in your hands. Uh, and you see that perhaps Cardin gave you a bad signal or you just uh, didn't interpret it correctly, but this is a problem. Uh oh. So yeah, it looks like this thing is making the noise uh, as soon as she, oh, yeah. she pulls it out. That's the full action then, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You moved and you pull that out of your pack. And uh, now you're just standing there with it in your hand uh, as the mercenary in the far back of the room, rather than go getting engaged uh, in combat uh, up close, is just going to start firing that plasma rifle. Two shots right at Sam uh, with a minus four penalty to each. So against your EAC, well, that's a two on the die, so I know I don't need to worry about that uh -huh. one. Uh, one plasma blast or one laser blast goes flying over your head. Uh, the second shot would hit an EAC of uh, 16. It is my EAC. Uh, so just barely manages to score a hit against you. Uh, that is going to be four points of fire damage oh, as you get blasted ouch. in the back. Oof, ouch. We're at the top of the next round and Nuya, you see that Sem has come over near you and is now holding a device that looks by all accounts <laughs> like it's about to explode. <laughs> um, is there any way I can uh, take my baton and walk over to Sem and knock out of her hand? 
into a bad guy. You can basically just, yeah, you, you can push off from where you are and just like go up to Sam and then grab it from Sam. Yeah, you can grab it from her. Ah, uh, yes. I can use my hands. I'll do that thing. Um, I'll give it actually, no, because your hands are full. You've got the, so you would yeah. have to try to knock it right. out of her hand. Yeah. I, yeah. <clears throat> Watch your fingers. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, that, uh, next I'm all for it. Uh, yeah, so basically you'll bump into Sam and I need you to make an acrobatics or athletics check to see if you can stabilize yourself. And Sam, you will also have to make that same check to see if she doesn't knock you off kilter. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I rolled a 19 athletics. A 23 a 19 athletics. total? Correct, 19 total. Okay, it's close. But you're God. you barely <laughs> your hands your hands are full, you can't quite steady yourself, and now <gasps> you're off kilter. Flat footed, oh. minus two penalty to attacks, but you can still do what you try want to try to do, it's just a minus two penalty. Sam, okay. you're okay, like Nuya just like slams into you, you just shrug <laughs> off because you, oh. you, you just shrug it off. Does, I mean, flat, nothing. does flat footed stack? Because I was sort of already flat footed last round. No, it doesn't it doesn't stack. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. So okay. it's just you just carry that penalty <laughs> forward. So yeah, you're good. Uh, yeah. Oh, so uh, make an attack roll. A natural, natural 20. 20. I love it. Uh you just batters up and smack this thing right out of Sam's hand without even touching her. Uh, and it goes sailing with a natural 20. Pick a direction you want it to go. Um, into this uh, bad boy's face. The one who's right next to you? The explosive? Yeah, you want to put it is, right next oh, to you? Oh, maybe what's the, right, what's far the range away. of the... No, no. I'll allow it. Okay. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I can't remember what the range is on Away from you. Okay, I understand. Yes, thank you. Is that too uh, far, or do I, yeah, should I do so this you one? Just, 20 feet? Uh, okay. Well, the one, it, no it could be the one right next to Zane, too. Wherever you All want right. that explosive no. to go, you tell I'll me. I'll do this <laughs> token that looks different from the other ones. That's not a, that's not a okay. player character. Thank you. Mm. Gotcha. Uh, you just slam this thing forward, and it goes sailing across the room. Uh, and it like it's now it like bumps into Morwall, who's like looking at it, and it's sparking. Uh, and he's his eyes go wide as he realizes what's <laughs> about to happen. Uh, and we move on to the mercenary who is right next to you's turn. They're off kilter. They're going to take a move action to try to steady themselves against you. Uh, so they steady themselves so they're not off kilter. Uh, and then they have to, they have this plasma rifle in their hand and they realize their mistake. So he tosses, he just basically, instead of tossing, he just lets it go. So it's floating there yeah. and grabs an assault hammer. Uh, off his right. back, but right. drawing that weapon and steadying himself is a full turn. So Zane, you are up next. Yeah. Okay, so I just saw, so Nuya did get hurt a bit, right? Earlier, uh, yeah, I got off uh, to minus five. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at Nuya and uh, man, I'm like, magic missile. Never missing magic missile, going on and going to get it. Never missing magic missile, magic missile. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my inspiring boost. Uh, so what that does is, as a standard action, you can signal an ally within 30 feet, and she is within 30 feet, that is taking damage from any attack at any point after your last turn ended. The ally regains a number of stamina points. Uh, oh equal to twice your envoy level plus your charisma modifier which wow. would be a total Dang. of uh you regain a max of 12 stamina points so okay, that's well, how you get five. stamina uh, yeah okay well i'm doing great thank you yeah yep <clears throat> and the I, music I goes by like, nice. hard i look and at the i look at the merc in front of me i'm gonna make a song out of your death dude Ooh. <laughs> that was a little dark. Uh, is, it a, is it a standard action to use that ability? Yes, it is. So you still have a move action if there's anything you want to do. Otherwise, good. Uh, I kind of, I kind of want to, <laughs> I want to kick off of him. Yeah, and if, <laughs> sure, if you can. There's nothing him, says you can. Does that send to him? <laughs> Potentially. It can, yeah. He'll have to make a. He'll. He won't. Yeah. No. It would send him moving in the opposite direction. Yeah. Which is really bad because that's into Nuya. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways. Yep. I love it. Do it. I can take it. Uh, yep. I'm gonna kick back and uh, go backwards. 
All right, move yourself back 15 feet while I move myself forward 15 feet. <laughs> start... uh, Nuya, this back mercenary just like slams into your back. I need you to make, <laughs> well, you're already off kilter, so there's no need for you to make a check. I have to make a check though, to see if I'm off kilter. Uh, and I'll say natural that Sam... one off kilter. Sam can be bracing Nuya too from behind. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's can I true. have my? Can I be having my baton facing outward, and he, you know he just falls into it, and now he's dead? No, we're not Ooh, doing uh, this. Uh, rules. <laughs> nope. He falls on my sword. I don't have a sword. Maybe. Nah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Zane, are you? Uh, uh, how did you, uh, you're? No, you didn't hit a surface yet, so you're uh, nope. you're still just sort of free floating, uh, mm-hmm. which is fine and excellent. And it is now Morwall's turn. Morwall. Um, grabs onto this sparking device and tries to chuck it um, back at Sem. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make an attack roll and see where it goes. Uh, yep. This thing comes flying across the map and is now, uh, Sem, it like bumps into your shoulder and it's sparking oh. big time. Like It could blow at any second. Uh, but, but it hasn't here, exploded just yet. Oh, no. Here's the thing. Sam is feeling the music, and this was an aggravated oh. assault, and Sam will attack it right back, and she'll punch it back at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will we will resolve that in just a moment, uh, okay. because one of these other mercenaries, the one that just got pushed into Nuya, uh, now has to uh, make an attack. He's not even going to try to right himself. He's just going to swing wildly with this assault hammer. So minus two to my attack roll. Uh, and with a two on the die and off kilter, just like swings this assault <laughs> hammer around, uh, and it just spins in a full 360 before coming back around, and you easily dodge the attack. Um, it's like that a takes drunk us Thor. To... <laughs> drunk Thor, yeah. Dwin, it is now your turn. Whew. All right. Uh, am I continuing? the trajectory of going to the left, or can I propel myself you are at the, somehow? At the, yeah, at the start of your turn, you'll automatically move without taking any actions. You'll just move and you'll hit that wall. <laughs> and I need you to make a uh, an acrobatics and or athletics check to see if you can stabilize yourself and not be off kilter. I don't have either listed on my sheet, so. <laughs> not the wind strong suit. <laughs> Oh, Got it. An, an 11? <laughs> uh, you hit that wall and are like oh. now like trying to right yourself and you're like flipping over in the oh, air. No. Uh, you can take a move. <laughs> you're off kilter, so you're flat footed and a minus two penalty. You can take a move action to stabilize yourself since you're against the surface. You can just use that move action to stabilize yourself uh, and then the rest of your turn as normal. Or you can just take attacks while you're spinning. It's just the minus two penalty. I will. Uh, I want to get a little closer to the action, so I think I, okay. I want to spend my turn to move uh, up toward this direction. So yeah. So all you'll have to do is uh, my... you sort of stabilize yourself with a move action, and then you can push off with your next action and move twenty feet in any direction you choose. Okay. Copy that. I'm moving twenty feet. All righty. And that is Dwin's turn. And now we move to Sam, and you've got this sparking, floating thing right in front of you. Go ahead. Yep. Make an attack roll. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. You just, do you want it right back where it was? <laughs> yep. All right. You just pop it right back. Uh, and now it is right in front of Morwald's face. He's like, no, no, I don't want it now. <laughs> Uh, you have a move action left if there's anything you want to do. Uh, let's see. She's going to take a position uh, uh, to secure Nuya again, just in case some okay. gravity shenanigans yeah. are to happen. So, yeah, no, you, you notice that Nuya is off kilter, so you can actually I'll let you use your move action to sort of stabilize uh, her so <laughs> that you. she's no longer off kilter. <laughs> yeah, you were just I like a little it. bit off. A little bit of teamwork. Uh, the final mercenary the final mercenary sees there's an explosive nearby and rather than stand and fight is going to launch themselves forward trying to get out of the way <laughs> uh, and makes it to there but not quite far enough as we get to the end of the round 
and it explodes Yay. in a ball of blue fire. And everybody, Ooh. I think it's a, it's a 10 foot radius. So Sam almost Yikes. catches you, Sam, but not quite uh, as I will roll some reflex saves. And then Sam, why don't you roll me 2d10? Okay. Damage. That's why I hit behind the forklift. <laughs> Do you want as percentile? Uh, no, as 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 damage for this explosion. Ah, so that is thirteen total. Oh. oh, thirteen! Both of these mercenaries fail their saves, take thirteen points of fire damage as they are engulfed in this explosion. Uh, you all hear Cardin, who's like, "Yeah, take that!" And I love Cardin. That is the top of the next round with Nuya. You've just been stabilized. What do you yes, do? Very good. Um, wow, that was a crazy round of uh, hot potato, I guess. Um, I'm going to aim at this one. This one? That was, that was he's sure. the first person I hit. Um, and I'm going to use yep. my uh, tactical baton this time and nice. do a melee attacky. So let's see what we got going on here. Um, that'll be a, t a dirty 20 to hit. Hey. Oh, yeah, that does it. Roll damage. It's very small. It's 1d4 plus 2 bludgeoning. <laughs> uh, that's a 4. 4, 5, 6 damage. Hey, max damage, and that's enough yeah. to take this mercenary to the ground. Oh. You hit him with the stun stick. Uh, they are, like, jolting, yeah. and then they go limp and just start floating there. Uh, you did it. There's a joke here somewhere about sticks and rolling out bread and floating and rising, but I, I don't have it just yet. <laughs> Very good joke. We don't joke. have it just yet. Uh, can I take a step uh, just over here? Unfortunately, you can move. You oh. can move yourself, oh, right. but you can't you can just step. step. So, like, you'll just keep, times. you have to move the full, like, 20 feet. <laughs> or Will 15 that... feet if you are if you have a 30 foot of movement. Uh, you know what? I'm good. I'm gonna stay. He's I'm off kilter, stay. so he can't oh. he can't oh, take an attack of opportunity because he's flat footed for being off kilter. So you oh. can you can freely move. You just have Great. to move I... at least fifteen feet, unless you bump okay. into something. I I want to bump into this thing, this box thing. Okay. Stay there. Uh, acrobatics Constant. or athletics check to see if you're off kilter. I'm fine. What are you talking about? That is a twelve plus seven is. 19. Oh, uh, 19. Again. Uh, 19. <laughs> uh, not quite enough. You just like you hit it just a little bit too hard and bounce off just a little bit, and you're grabbing for it, trying to get it, uh, and you Fine. are flat footed with a minus two penalty to attack rolls. Sorry, this looks uh, so uncool, team. Yeah, <laughs> there is something about the most coordinated uh, one sort of having to deal with the anti grab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a human. Uh, I'm sorry. It, <laughs> It would be my mercenary's turn, but they have been disabled by the stun stick, which takes us to Zane. All right. So then I, I guess I finish the rest of my movement going into the wall down here. <laughs> yep. Um, you hit that wall. Go ahead and make your acrobatics or athletics check. Uh, oh, come on, Zany Zane. You got this. You got this. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, that just that makes job. it. You can now, you, and it didn't take any actions because it was automatic movement. So now you have your full turn to do what you want. Okay, uh, so <laughs> um, those are dope. Uh, as a move <laughs> action, choose one enemy within sixty feet until the start of your next turn. You and allies gain a plus one morale bonus to attack rolls against that enemy. My envoy, get, get, him. Get, him. get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! I'm glad you tried. Don't blame me when you've already died. And then I'm gonna <laughs> shoot with my pistol. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, so which which mercenary do you want to target with Getum? The only one you can't hit is Morwall. He's just out of your range. The one right in front of you. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. The, the one that I threatened and said I was gonna make a song about his death. So I kept <laughs> into me. Yep. An easy shot because he's also flat footed. So go for oh, it. Nice. Uh, so that's a twenty one total then. Yup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and since Zane was moving kind of midair, I feel like he kind of like locks his feet on the wall and then just kind of like does one of these with the pistol and just fires. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. 
That's for eight points of electric damage. Ooh. Oof. Sizzling and burning. Yeah. Not having a good day, that mercenary. Uh, excellent turn. You all hear Zane, Zane's beautiful song, which will give you all a plus one bonus to attack <gasps> and damage rolls against that particular target if you choose to attack them. And after Zane, it is Morwall's turn. Morwall now, like, like singed and burning, is going to push off the floor and start like he's getting out of here. He's he's cursing. Uh, he's shouting back at Card. I'm gonna kill you yet, you dumb lizard! Uh, and starts <laughs> bolting. As we move on to the other mercenary's turn, who is currently just floating, free floating in the air targeted by Zane, got blasted, uh, is going to try to like stabilize themselves against the floor. Uh, and then, uh, gosh, I guess I just pulled out the stupid hammer too. So I will <laughs> switch to the rifle and be done with my turn. Uh, this this anti-grav is a problem for me. Uh, Dwin, what are you going to do? I'm going to push Oh, you were floor. moving. So the first thing that's going to happen oh is you're going to continue moving because you were okay. you haven't hit anything yet. So the first thing that happens is you move 20 feet forward and now you can either brace yourself against the wall that's next to you to stabilize or you could just let yourself keep drifting. Do whatever you want. It's your turn. I'm going to let, my, let myself keep drifting and I'm going to cast Overheat okay. on this guy. Whoa! Oh. That's going to uh, be a reflex save That's a reflex save, save for, for me. Yeah. Uh, which is a 12... Which is a, hang on, where's my numbers? Uh, I'm pretty sure you fail. That yeah, your your right. first level DC is 16, yes. so that is a yes. failure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here comes the, uh, the damage. Oh, oh, I thought that was a one. Whew, thank goodness. Okay, that's gonna be, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be ten points of damage. Nice. Uh, that's enough to do in another one of these mercenaries. He ex like he gets engulfed in an explosion, and then Dwin floats right up in front of him and just blasts him with overheat. He's like ah, 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 ah and dies. Uh, uh, Dwin will look at him and be like, "I'm sorry. I wish we could have been friends." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he gives you no answer because he is a smoking skeleton. Wow. Mm. That's fair. That makes sense. Sam, it Violent. is your turn. There is yes. one there's one of these mercenaries left. Off kilt uh, just managed to right themselves, has a plasma rifle in hand, is looking around wildly. Uh and mm. there's a get him on him. So you know yeah. that you'll get a Zane has Zane has spoken. <laughs> Yes, inspired by Zany yeah. Baby's fabulous song. Sam, uh, taking advantage of the low gravity, does like a forward tumble with her blade and just Ooh. comes crashing down on this thing in a big attack. Uh, 24. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. Yes, uh, so uh, she actually is, she's a blitz fighting style just so that it's super interesting of how quick she's moving and she's using this carbon steel curved blade which is 1d10 plus 10 slashing so that's uh, 14, 14 <laughs> points <laughs> what the hell? Uh, she, like, she becomes this like whirling blade in the anti-grav and just like decimates this thing in front of her pieces of mercenary are just like floating, uh, drifting away from the center mass. And big globs of blood <laughs> are bubbling up out of out of his arteries. Um, he dead. Uh, <laughs> Marvel and then, continues like flee. Go ahead. Oh yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say like through through the viscera and the blood like floating in anti-grav um, as the other guy that was with us. Uh, what is his name? Kurt? Carden. 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 Uh, uh, you see Sam just look Carden directly in the eye and then wink. <laughs> <laughs> Carden winks back. Yeah. Uh, I'm very confused about what the wink winking means. I don't. I don't think we really talk about what it means. No. Okay. <laughs> I was just. I was very confused. I still am confused. 
nothing at this place. Uh, at that <laughs> point, Marwal is still floating away, cursing and screaming, as Cardin, uh, who shoots a wink back at Sam, uh, says, Wow, that was uh, better than I expected. Uh, I guess we should get you to your gig. Let's go back to the ship. Yeah. Yeah. My room, it's maestros. Um, a quick clarification. Is this one of those things that we're never supposed to speak of again? Or should we put it into a song and tell everybody because it was kind of cool? I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell, you know, anybody. Uh, what if we make your ever? name that would be hard and all? Choice. Ooh. No, Ooh. definitely don't mention anything about me. I don't need to be in a oh. song. That's not fine. you, the cardinal. The cardinal. cardinal. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, That's a great song pretty title. far away from your real name. No one will ever suspect it was you. Yes. Your name is Cardin. So Came it's the cross Cardin. bandits. Yeah. And they had a bomb. So we <laughs> made a friend and then we made this song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rock. It's wicked. Uh, it's Arden art. seems it's unconvinced art. about being part of a song, <laughs> uh, but leads you back onto the Saint of Anger. Uh, hmm. Cardin then throws themselves into the caption chair uh, and boots up the systems. Uh, you lift off from the RS shelter and begin making your way back out into space. As you're doing so, um, you notice that there wasn't just one diamond tostari ship docked with the <gasps> shelter and as you're peeling away from this derelict craft three others begin to peel away from the rs oh. shelter and oh, careen no. <laughs> towards you and uh cardin says oh well uh so um any of you know how to fly we might be needing a co-pilot here and uh somebody get on the sensors real quick because uh i think we might have some problems upcoming hey uh uh nuya you uh you might uh you can uh you might want to uh i don't know ensigns or shields what do you think we should uh we should boost um i would say engines um i've got some tape that could help fix that yeah, yeah, good call. I'll leave that to you. Go ahead and get down into the engine room and divert power however you see fit. Just, uh, yes. we need to go quickly. It's a Easy, patented tape method. Uh, moves, baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. We should move we really like quickly, guys. Come on. Okay, okay. Other thing. Got it. And I'll go to the... I'll, I'll go the cannon fire is just like is like lancing around the ship and uh, the shields are absorbing some of the, the sort of... Uh, you're not. You're, there are no direct hits, but there are some grazes that get absorbed by the shield. The ship is is heavily armed and armored. You feel like this might be okay. Uh, is, is anybody going to try to help uh, Cardin pilot the ship? Zane was going to. Yeah, fly me to the moon, Zane's baby. That, so. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make a piloting check as you try to plot the best course away from the RS shelter and out of danger. I'm just going to say, the, the expertise that envoys get is ridiculous. Uh -huh. Nothing else matters. 19. <laughs> 11 plus 8. 19. <laughs> nice. Cardin is doing an excellent job just avoiding plasma cannon blasts, and as you are looking at the console, pulling up uh, uh, sort of scans of the area, you notice that there is a cloud of dust and gas that looks like would be the perfect place to lose pursuers. So you quickly plot the course and Cardin looks at you, he's like, sure, let's do it. Uh, and yanks the stick and starts diving for this uh, uh, cloud. Uh, Nuya, you managed to get to the engine rooms. Uh, you can boost any of the systems that you want, though you know that you had mentioned getting a little extra speed. Go ahead and make an engineering check. Oh. Um, let's see. That is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay, successful. You managed to divert power away from the weapons, which aren't really being used, and get a huge boost of speed as the ship is sort of tumbling towards this cloud of dust and gas. 
uh, I just tape plasma one tube, cannon I tape fire. The tube out, and I tape <laughs> it to another hole, and then I'm just sitting there taping it. <laughs> I'm imagining it as like a hamster tube. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Plasma cannon fire peppers the shields, and a few near misses send shivers up your spines as Cardin and Zane blast through the diaspora. The diamond Tushtaris right on your tail. The ship shudders as one lucky hit melts through some hull plating near the engines. There are warning flights that strobe across the board. Uh, But then... You dive into the swirling cloud of dust and gas, and you are careening through it. And Dwin, you're looking at the ship scanners, and you don't see anything. Like, you lose everything, which presumably means that they would have lost you as well, which is fantastic. And everything seems like it's going great. But then, um, Dwin, make a mysticism check. Ooh. Oh, me. Interesting. Yep. Oh, it's a 19! Uh, hey! A 27. You get this, like, tingling sense of intense magic. Like, you've grown accustomed to being able to sense it, and you feel, like, a lot of it. It's almost like standing right next to, like, a power substation. You can feel it. Your hairs are sort of standing on end, and the dust from this cloud begins to spark and this rainbow cascade of electrical energy like sheet lightning just washes over the ship and all of the systems except emergency power and life support go dead as the saint of anger drifts and tumbles aimlessly through the diaspora once again and it is this time that we're going to take a short break and come oh. back and find out what happens. Will our crew get to the gig or are they dead in the water? We'll find out next Whew. on Band on the Run. Stick around. Uh. We'll be back in 10, but I think it's 10 minutes. I don't know what our break is this time. In a few mm-hmm. minutes, in some number of minutes, there'll be a countdown. Yeah. You'll figure it out. You'll yeah. know how long. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to embark on the journey of a lifetime as you explore the packed worlds of the Starfinder universe, taking on the role of a science fantasy hero customized to fit your playstyle. But danger lurks amongst the stars. Will you fight back with advanced weaponry and cunning tactics, or will your hero wield the devastating forces that fuse magic and technology together to alter reality? Your crew must come together if you have any hope of victory. In Starfinder, every decision drives the adventure as you build an epic saga with your friends. Bring your story to life in a game where the fate of the worlds rests on the answer to the most important question of all. What do you do? Begin your journey into the Starfinder universe today with the Starfinder Beginner Box, now available at paizo.com, your local gaming store, and anywhere else adventure can be found. southern coast of Starstone Isle, not far from the town of Otari. The gaunt light stands shrouded by cloying mists atop a centuries-old ruin in the Fogfin Swamp. Now, a pallid new light glows from within the ancient edifice, beckoning novice explorers to delve deep into the marsh to discover the truth behind the awakened radiance. The town elders of Otari say that the old lighthouse has been abandoned for ages, that the swamp itself holds little danger to the town. The town elders are wrong. 
into the Mega Dungeon, the all-new Abomination Vault's adventure path for the Pathfinder role-playing game peels back layer after layer of mystery, intrigue, and terror in a three-volume campaign of dungeon exploration and thrilling discovery. Designed especially with new players in mind, the priceless plunder of long centuries awaits those bold enough to enter the sprawling Abomination Vaults. But claiming it requires facing off against a horde of hideous monsters, deadly traps, and vengeful ghosts with long memories and inhuman hungers. The Abomination Bot's Adventure Path works with the Pathfinder Beginner Box or Pathfinder Core Rulebook and is your perfect gateway to thrilling adventure 500 years in the making. destroyed a dangerous super weapon. Stopped the threat of an invasion from another plane. Fought against a host of nigh unstoppable foes. And uncovered evidence of a vast conspiracy. But now, your biggest challenge lies ahead of you. In Starfinder's first adventures for higher level characters, the remnants of an ancient warmongering civilization threaten the packed worlds, and only you can stop them. Will you rise to the challenge? Or will the Devastation Arc destroy everything you hold dear? Bring your game to life with officially licensed Pathfinder Miniatures and Pathfinder Paints from Reaper Miniatures. Pathfinder Miniatures are available in both metal and bones plastic versions to suit your gaming style. Sculpted in heroic gaming scale, Reaper's officially licensed miniatures range features everything from iconic heroes to fan-favorite monsters. Don't forget to use officially licensed Pathfinder Paints, Colors of Galerion, to paint your Pathfinder Miniatures. Pathfinder paints are highly pigmented for fast coverage and feature excellent flow with a matte finish. All Reaper paints are water-based and easy to clean up. Please head over to ReaperMiniatures.com to see the entire range of Reaper's officially licensed Pathfinder RPG products. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
inappropriate sound is inappropriate. Don't let the action suffer from a lack of atmosphere. Let Sirenscape set the tone and bring your game to life. See? That's better. Journey to Sirenscape.com to download the app and make it the year of atmosphere at your table. And be sure to watch Dragons and Things every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific on Twitch. Absalom, the city at the center of the world, heart of the Isle of Cortos. Since the living god Erudim founded it nearly 5,000 years ago, people have proudly called this metropolis the crown jewel of the inner sea. Now, it is the year of the Radiant Festival, a once-in-a-lifetime celebration that has drawn visitors to Absalom from around the globe. But not all who wander the boardwalks and alleyways of Absalom have good intentions. Craven crooks, shady charlatans, and malevolent murderers have set their sights on a distracted populace. Under cover of the chaotic festivities, a diabolical plot unfolds. Who can protect the innocent citizens of Absalom? Who will answer the call to save this ancient city from the villains who aim to overtake it, to guard Absalom from certain danger? A band of heroes must uncover the city's deepest secrets, scour its streets for clues, and take down its most dangerous criminal masterminds. For the safety of the many, a few will risk it all. The Agents of Edgewatch. Welcome back. It is time for some more Band on the Run. I'm having a really good time. This crew is just crazy enough to make an adventure like this work <laughs> perfectly. And I, I'm here. What? I can just sit back and let them riff and make songs and be wild. And it's it's a super good time. If you want to have a similarly good time with a special group of players at your home or online or wherever, go to paizo.com. Make sure that you download this amazing one-shot adventure that was just released for sale today. Just get it. It's super good. Why not? Why not? I think Paizo even has like discount codes. So an already like you know, the, the PDFs are already like super reasonable. You throw a discount code on top of it for PaizoCon. It's like they're practically giving adventures away. Practically <laughs> giving adventures away. Let's bring everybody else back. I'm eager to get back into this, and I want to see everybody else's smiling faces. Oh, oh they're all dead. dead. Oh, no, they died. Oh, no, no. And that's what the happened? end of the adventure. <laughs> well, see you all next time. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. oh no, they're alive. Oh, okay. Great oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I have to add, uh, before before we dive into it, and, and I'm sorry again, yeah. because you weren't part of Scoured Stars. We missed you for it, but... Xander, Katie, and Michelle all were part of Scoured Stars, so I have to, you know, we just finished that show, and now this is obviously a completely different type of adventure, but how do you think the two compare? Like, like, do you like these more just like wild, crazy adventures, or do you like things that are a little bit more structured and have like a, that sort of like more serious through line for this? Jim, I hmm. think I can speak for everyone when I say yeah, that yeah. we definitely love these ones because there's a little bit more gay <laughs> magic in it. Yes! <laughs> true. Uh, it's true. It's so true. true. It's true. <laughs> but I, think, I would also yeah, that, like. Uh, oh, I would also like to, to the say versatility that versatility of the game. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If we, it doesn't matter yeah. how. Also, if you didn't notice from Skyward Stars, no matter how serious you write a game, 
your players are gonna break it. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And, yeah. It's not about making human bread for 30 or 40 minutes during a, you know, four hour show. So, uh, we also bread like for humans, for like not minutes. made out of humans. <laughs> yeah. Right. Very important <laughs> distinction. <laughs> I just like that yeah. we made it official Starfinder canon and lore that humans, all humans, are obsessed with bread and love bread, and oh. and they're the only species in the entire Starfinder universe that eat like and make that. bread. It's a very secretive process. So it I'm is. glad that we've added that to the official <laughs> canon, and yeah, that's it's that real and definite, mm -hmm. and they have to write it in yeah. their source books. Yeah, is this I channel so. not called Official Paizo, or is it not? Oh, I mean, come on. Right? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Content. He's got a point. Yeah. Uh, content indeed. Let's uh -oh, dive back <laughs> into Band on the Run. I'm having a good time. I want to get through this. And mm -hmm. I need to know what you guys are going to do when the ship suddenly loses power in this crystalline dust cloud that seems to be charged with this disruptive energy that sends you into a little tailspin. The ship goes kind of dead. There is emergency backup power, but it just powers life support. And you guys won't, you know, freeze to death out here. But how are you going to get to this gig? Cardin is looking at his console. So it stands up. He's like, well, OK. Um, good news is the Diamond Touch Diaries seem to have lost us. The bad news, they are still hunting us. And it is a matter of time before they find us. So, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to take a minute. Uh, I'm just going to take a minute. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to, I have something in my, I'm going to, I'll be right back. And he just sort of leaves oh. the bridge and leaves you all alone. Hmm. What do you do? So, oh, oh. did there this any... emergency oh. break him? Sorry. Are there any computers? Oh yeah, yeah. There's terminals, yeah, for sure. But they're probably not working, or are they working? They're in sort of a low power mode, but you can still access most of the ship systems through them. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything specifically there anything... that you're looking for? Well, I'd like to be able to get some power to the ship, and uh, I have transfer charge. Do we have enough batteries on ourselves that we can use that to help oh. power up the ship a little bit? With my knowledge you of know, computers. as you're thinking. As you're thinking about it, and you still feel that like tingle of all this latent energy in the in the space around, it's like it, it, it's like you, you just feel like lightning could strike at any moment. And you're really the only one who's sensitive to this. Um, <gasps> but as you're thinking about transfer charge and the way that it works, you're like, there might be a way through passing a mysticism check that you could harness some of that latent energy and use it mm. to boost the auxiliary power and get some of the systems back online. Ooh. And as you're thinking about it, the whole ship shudders again. And you're all standing there thinking like, oh, what happened now? Mm. And it seems like maybe they found, maybe you got hit, but then huh. you notice on the ship's console that you're looking at, Dwin. Escape um, pod? One of the escape pods has Damn launched. It. <laughs> and you get an incoming transmission. Uh, you see Cardin on the other end of it. He says, uh, so, look, I hate to dip, but I can't let the Diamond Touch Daris catch me. If it's any consolation, they're going to go way um, easier on you than they would me. So, so you've got that. So, uh, well, you're on your own. And then oh, oh, no. cuts off the communications. You guys, we what have you to do? get the ship moving because the we ship have has to guns, make it to the said, show. Right? Is the ship it armed? You said the ship is armed, right? Yeah. So you start looking through the systems. You see there are some weapons. There's like a light uh, laser array. Um, and you mm -hmm. also notice, interestingly enough, it seems rare. It, it probably this, it, it's actually kind of concerning to arm a, wep a, a ship with a weapon like this. You see that there is a an analog grappling harpoon. <gasps> oh, which is card. very interesting. Usually use, yeah. <gasps> like a winch. Uh, what's that? I'm going like to fire a garden. Oh, yeah. You want to fire? Right now, there isn't enough power to right. fire up the weapons, unfortunately. What the only thing that's working is life support. Yeah. Is life support. 
life support and the and like lights in the in the ship. Uh, Dwen, you are you had your hand oh. raised though. Zane, I, I I see where you're going with that, and I yeah. I totally back you if that's the direction you'd like to go. But hear me out first. So I think I might be able to get us enough power to get the ship moving, and then we can get to our gig on time. So hopefully we don't miss it. Um. Just give me one second. I really just kind of have to focus on my mysticism and really hope that I can really kind of just figure this out. And this is where I'm going to pass my, ooh, ooh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> 16. 16, not bad. Yeah, okay. but... I mean, it's not terrible. You, you didn't break anything. That's the good news. Uh, okay. So you are trying to like draw in all this ambient energy and it's, it's just too much and it's too wild to harness and you're not able to really use it to power any of the systems on the ship. You can't get this thing working. However, Zane, as you're looking over there and you're like, well, I'm going to shoot Cart, like I'm going to shoot Cart I'm going to shoot, shoot him. Shoot. Uh, you can't get the weapons to work, but you notice that in the targeting array, there is a <laughs> massive object moving closer and closer to the ship and as you uh focus visual scanners on it you see what might prevent present another type of opportunity because on the scanning console you see the shimmering bulk of a massive diaspora worm cutting <gasps> like drifting through the dust clouds Worse. it dwarfs what? the saint of anger by so much that you are confident it could swallow the ship whole if it had a mind to. Oh, However, oh, thank you. you're also confident that if you can't get those engines to work, and you, you could get this, this hook into the worm, work, you could ride the worm. Yes, ride the worm. <laughs> but you need somebody <laughs> to boost the power enough to fire that weapon. And I'll do it. Nuya. Dwin doesn't seem to be able to quite get it, but maybe Nuya has another <clears> solution. I take out my extra strong duct tape for this mission that is a net uh, 20 everybody <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. hey. so that's 20 plus 13. 33. 33 yeah 33 the diaspora worm is getting closer and closer and nuya you're in the engine room and you know you need to get more power to the ship systems and you realize that there's enough air in the ship that you don't really need the life support to be working as long as you just take shallow breaths, you should make it to Songbird Station, no problem. So you could cut power to life support, divert it to this grappling cannon, and ride the worm. So that's exactly mm. what you do. I taped the, the little lever down that says off for the, <laughs> the life support, which is just, just a light, light switch. And I take a, I take a bite of my human bread, which no other species in this universe has. <laughs> and I get to work. Which is canonically true. Yeah. Canonically true. Yes. <laughs> Canon now. Oh, I'm a human. This is my human hmm. bread. Hmm. Zane. Oh, uh, and I diverse car. Yeah. Nuya. <laughs> Nuya works her magic, and there is now power to the ship's weapons. And increased power to the maneuvering thrusters so that while you're riding the worm, you could probably steer yourself and make this thing work for you. Oh, However, somebody's gonna have to hit the worm first. Anybody can make an attack roll. So in order to make a, a, a an attack with the, with the ship's weapons, you use the piloting skill or a ranged oh. attack, whichever one is better for you. And just somebody needs to step up to that grappling cannon and fire at the worm. Oh, please. What do y'all do? Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. <sighs> Time I, 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 I picture, I picture um, Dwin being like, I got this, don't worry, and like stepping up and, and Sam is like, why don't you let me handle this? Because I can like barely reach up enough to grab the the, the gun. <laughs> right. Or Zane is already there. And so we I, just yeah, look I'm over just... and Zane's been trying to get this gun working the whole time. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. <sighs> I love this job. <laughs> uh, so with piloting, that is... 23. Yes, 23! This time when you hit the controls on those weapons, it fires. And this grappling harpoon lances out as the diaspora worm is, is cutting past the ship and thunk, sticks into the great worm's massive scales. 
But at that moment, plasma cannon fire lances through the cloud towards your <gasps> ship. The diamond Tashtaris have found you and they are angry. The worm starts dragging your ship, towing it along. But some of the plasma fire hits the beast, causing it to oh. plunge forward just a little bit too fast. The incoming mercenary ships are overwhelmed by the dust cloud's strange mystic charge, and they, much like you just were, start spinning out of control as you are yanked through space, out of the massive <laughs> cloud, and towards a huge flowing river that defies all known laws of physics, known uh -huh. as the River Between, that it's cuts the no. diaspora right in two. The diaspora worm plunges into the river, and then, almost as if at that moment it notices that you've latched onto it, like shimmies and shakes its whole great body and throws Ooh. the harpoon loose. With rerouted power, however, you can control this wild ride as you are swept away in the space river and are washed towards Songbird Space. Uh, so, uh, sorry, so Songbird Station in a Yay. massive rush. Whee! <laughs> the Saint of Anger holds Art. together. And the river between spits you out near the massive temple complex of Songbird Station. It's not pretty, but you managed to get the ship docked. And you are now, you've done it. You've you have reached the music festival. What do you do? Oh. <laughs> uh, Sam kicks the door open of the ship and is just like, Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It starts kissing the station ground. Just... <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why think... we all keep a very positive mental attitude. We were saved by a worm in a space river that made no logical sense, but um, yeah, the positive attitude probably helped at some point. Mm -hmm. That worm is like worm. a child to me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. After that 20 so? or 30 minutes. Yeah, explain. I don't know. It, it uh, showed up, hooked me in. Yeah saved me in ways I didn't know I needed to be saved, and then disappeared to live its own life, like it grew up. Its childhood lasted maybe an hour, but what a childhood it was. Zany, baby, your brain is so beautiful. All the music, yeah. it just oozes out of your beautiful mouth. Really yes, yes. Space worm, riding yes. on your back with a hook in fact. It's an attack against my soul. Ooh, wind chimes. Yeah, that was that's a good. That's a. That's a good Everyone one. forgets really wind chimes. Like yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'll write that one down as well. Yeah. yeah. It will be good for the middle of the set when we need to cool people down but keep them interested. Yeah. That makes the sense. Music yeah, yeah. Break between the music. That's mm. a really good concept. I really like that actually. Yeah. Yeah, that you was know, a really good one. I think we'll win. Like we. Oh. Yeah, what are the rules of this contest again? Um, to do one really long song, or to do two songs with a song break that's actually a song, or. I think it's like it is. Set of songs, right? Yes, <laughs> most elaborate, uh, biggest set, and most effects. Yes. Makes so sense. longest is what I'm hearing. Yes. Longest set. Yeah. So we have to Most sing diverse. for as long, okay, di as diversely and longest, longest biggest set. and biggest. Y yes. Yeah. And most memorable. Yeah. We just have to be the yeah. best, which, puh, have you seen us? We are the best. That's why we don't think we're going to win. We know we're going to win. <laughs> that broke the universe. That's the one. <laughs> <I'm just trying laughs> tired. <laughs> there's so many, there's so many. I'm gonna cry. Uh, this um, s uh, Songbird Station is not ready for Neon and No Quill. Here we go. And we'll mm. enter. Yeah. Okay. We enter. <laughs> Songbird Station is, is pretty awe inspiring. It is a temple dedicated to Shaylin, goddess of beauty and art. It's made of an opalescent marble that creates a grand temple and amphitheater. Um, thousands of music festival attendee attendees move under a rainbow of fluttering banners overhead and a cascade of lights and sounds wash over you as you take it all in. Some of the th sounds you are hearing are other bands beginning their sets. You've arrived just as the music festival is getting underway and there is little time to get to the stage if you hurry. 
You make your way through the crowds, make oh, your way oh, to the oh. staging area just in time for your make a hole. slot make a hole. on the make stage. A hole. <laughs> and you see a halfling stage manager who holds up a hand to stop you and says, hey, 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 no, sorry, what? Neon and no qual? Yeah, sorry, you, you, you missed sound check. We gave your time to snowfall <laughs> renaissance. If you want to get Yo, on stage, beautiful. you've got to clear it with them. <laughs> hey, they might give you back your time, or they might decide to keep their double set. I, I don't really care. I'm not going to make the call for them, though. You know, they're right over there if you want to try to talk to them. But you've got yes. five minutes until either they or you are going up on stage. Oh, no. Deal. Mm. Oh, we did so a... much to get here. We, we, and I think we have to have another uh, confrontation. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh... Yeah. Captain, I guess. Deal. Uh, either we'll make him leave or we'll make out with him. Either way, let's do it. And I start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Get over there. Hello. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Snowfall Renaissance is a band made up of four Winterboard Riforians in form-fitting <gasps> black and blue bodysuits, and they are yes. like preparing for their set on stage. And they, as you approach them, they give you this kind of dismissive, contemptuous look. <clears throat> look, we've been <gasps> through a lot. You're beautiful creatures with amazing talent, just like we are. And you know, you're gonna have our set. But would it be a challenge if you didn't really have the best to go against you? Like all those other musical losers, they're here, but they're not going to give you the best challenge of your life. What's a battle of the band if there's no battle? Uh, I'm sorry, but like, who even are you? Uh, That's right, really? we are Neon and No Qual. You have heard of us and you are scared about how cool we look. Yeah. That's true. Um, or if you don't know who no. we are, we are also open to making out with you, is what um, our uh, this, leader said. So That's true. It's, that is very true. You're all very attractive. One of the Riforians yes. like, perks up and is like, oh, wait, wait, what, what did you say? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. No, no, we are not yeah. making out with that. No, we're not making oh, we out with friends. you. You're all sweaty and gross. Like, what have you been doing all day? Not, When's the last time any of you took a shower? Riding space worms. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a really long day, but listen, like we could be friends and you know, maybe if you could just give us back our, our time slot, it would be really amazing. Please? One of you, and it can be any one of you, because you've all contributed to this thus far, can make a diplomacy check. No, not me. Oh, no. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look at the one that perks up when I mentioned making out. I'm gonna look at yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that one. Follow that kid. You, kid you yes. not. That is, oh my god, that is a nat twenty for a total of thirty one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can see that that of the of the band members, uh, like two of them are like they're you know that one was like maybe we should like, like they they clearly went through some stuff maybe. Give him back that time slot. I don't know. Maybe we, you know, Jim, Jim, I'm never so going to use still this get again. Time slot. I'm never going to use what it again. That? But I, I want to use detect thoughts because I can use it once per day. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Who do you want to use detect thoughts on? Um, <laughs> the the one that was the most reserved about giving us our time slot back. Uh huh. Sure. 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 The hater. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so. It requires a little bit of focus because it doesn't work right away. Like the first, yep. you just sort of like you get like the the general murmur from so many people around. And you have to focus and focus, folks, and then you can sort of like get just like some brief surface thoughts, and you can you what you get is like it's like ah, these wasteoids are gonna like this was our big chance. We could have had double the time. We, ah, maybe we should just brush them off. I, I I don't know, but they seem. They're not so bad. Like, no, no, we, we've got to, we've got to stay. Like, you can see there's a conflict going on mm -hmm. internally. She's trying to, you know, resolve this. You can tell she's not quite sold on it. Um, yeah. Though you can tell just by the expressions that some of, two of the other band members are actually like, I don't know, maybe, you know, 
Oh, even one of them sends like turns to one of them. It's like, you know, I don't know. Like, we still get our time. Like, just give them back theirs. Like, what's the big deal? But you're not that worried that you're that just that still much a little better bit. than you are you? Oh, uh, oh. The two that are kind of reserved, uh, like they perk up when you say that. Like, pss, worried? No, we just don't want to waste the audience's time with your loser music. Loser music? Oh, you messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sam. <laughs> Sam is like seeing red. <laughs> Do you listen? The music that we play comes from our hearts. Can't you see as fellow musicians, we are here to have our story be told. The story of the, the space worm we rode, the people we murdered, the, the explosions we caused, the ships we have wrecked. The blue drinks Roll. we have drank. And <laughs> the blue drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an intimidation check. Yes. She definitely will. <laughs> a 27. And she just flexes for no reason. <laughs> one of the Rephorians, the one that had, had, had seemed sort of on your side from the beginning, finally rolls their eyes and like steps forward. It's like, just let them have their time slot. I mean, look, come on. They, uh, th th look, think of it this way. Maybe they'll just make us look better when it's our time. You know, we're up right after them. The rest of the band sort of grumbles and they start to disperse. You know, the, the one who had been sort of challenging you at that point says, you know what? Fine. Go and embarrass yourselves. It's not our problem. And then turns away, leaving you free so, to take the stage. If you I want, yell, they give so you that, back your time. No, that's a no on the making out then. Okay, I just was offering. One of them turns back like, wait, no, uh, it, uh, I'll be around. Uh, I'll be around after our set. If if there's any, you know, we maybe we maybe some making out. <laughs> All right, seven o'clock backstage. Be there. <laughs> I love this game. The, <laughs> <laughs> the whole band uh, was so attractive. I know. True. Mm. Gosh. I like their athleisure. That was my favorite part about that band. Mm. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. we did it, we got uh, our swap back. At this point. <laughs> we did it, Twin. We've done it. <laughs> the uh, stage really... manager. Sorry, go ahead. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet, it's you. Because <laughs> there's lag there's a little in the <laughs> yeah, There's a little yeah. delay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but I guess now that we that we're here and we finally got our time slot back, that um, I I now we really have to you know figure out our set list and make sure that we hit every single song and perfectly. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yes, Dwin, I've been needing to go over this. I feel like mm. you can contribute so much with your abilities to create oh. a show for the audience. <gasps> yes. Um, sort of. I could oh. daze them all, but I don't know if oh. that's going to help. It might make us sound better. <laughs> well, oh, hold on. Um, are we I do choosing have some the... really... Mm. Oh, I was just going to say, are we choosing the path of uh, aggressiveness, the aggro path to uh, win this fight? Or, or sorry, this <clears throat> contest? Go on. Oh, just to enhance the music. I am. I am ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, let's uh, do it. So, are we working well, our way from the top of the set list to the bottom of the set list, or I are we only we picking? Should. I think we yeah, should do. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. We, we have the same. Yeah, I did. I did <laughs> write a list. Let's do all of them. Okay. Ooh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be the hottest mess that this place has ever seen. <laughs> I think it's going to be perfect. Guys, remember, positive, yeah. mental. Attitude. Attitude! Guns. Yes! Yes! Let's do it! It's not guns. Okay. Why did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot anybody on stage, no. <laughs> Hello, uh, Songbird <laughs> Station! <laughs> it is coming to you! <laughs> Neon and Noquan! Hmm. 
the uh, the stage manager who is standing there sort of waiting for you guys is like oh, oh okay you're you've got 30 sec you're up in 30 seconds uh you've got 10 minutes uh and then the we're kicking you off the stage whether you're there or not all right. But no, we we outlined this in your application packet. Did you not read any? <laughs> no. Let's just. Do this. No. I did. I did. I read it from top to bottom. Just, <laughs> just go, 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 and she like shoves you up onto the stairs, uh, leading you up onto stage. You get out, and this is it. You take the stage, and you see a crowd of roaring fans going wild as Neon and Noqual appears on a massive hollow screen right behind you. Sink or swim, it is time to rock. Now, so, there is a little bit of a mechanical thing to this, so I'll get through oh, that first, uh-huh. and then I'm going to give it to you guys to just do your show. Uh, yeah, yeah. So every song, uh, you have to you have to play at least three songs that count. You guys can sing for as long as you want that to, but I'm not going to stop you. But there are three songs that count. Hours. Every song... <laughs> Every song requires one check from each of you. Um, and you can use any skill or ability that you can justify. I'm, you tell me what you're doing, and I'm good with it. Just justify it in your act, and I'm totally chill. Um, however, if two people use the same skill, then the DC of the check goes up. So the first person who makes a skill mm. check, the DC is, is lower. And then every subsequent person who uses that same skill the DC is a little bit higher, so you want to vary it up so that you you can make it take advantage of those lower skills. Um, if you succeed, if if enough of you succeed, that song counts as a success. And if you succeed at enough total songs, well, that is how you win the music festival and get that big record deal. Oh and at that point, <laughs> I will turn it over to you to tell me how this show is going to go because I can only imagine it's going to be wild. <laughs> yes, so. I will say first, uh, the lights go down, and it's the, the audience is plunged into complete darkness. But if you were to look closely, you could see Sam has her uh, floating drum pad in front of her, and you just hear this, like, the uh, sort of driving beat of, like, do 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 uh, As she comes onto the stage, there's just, like, lights. As they turn on, she does a flip, another flip. She's flipping all over the place and is going to do an athletics check. <laughs> Yay. Love it. <laughs> At 26. Woo-hoo. The crowd goes wild as you flip across the <clears throat> stage and take your position with a drum solo that rocks their socks off. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Who's next? Um, Nuya, going along with the same rhythm as some... Um, drums <clears throat> has before the set started uh, reconfigured her uh, flight suit to fly and have strobing lights much oh. like her best friend Maple who lives on Epsilon Station <laughs> uh, so I will attempt an engineering check to see if it's possible that my suit flies, lights up projects light as I go crazy on the bass and go here we go <laughs> okay, that is uh, 18 plus 13 is 20, 31? 31? Mm-hmm. You soar through the air like an iridescent angel and the crowd is loving it. Yep. Who's up next? Me! So <laughs> after the lights, uh, you see Dwin and she's got her, you know, her awesome keyboard set in front of her. And she's hearing the the bass come in, hearing the drum beat come in, and she's gonna then lay down those sweet, sweet synth vibes, and it's gonna be like, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be super <laughs> eighties. And, <I'll> say, <laughs> and as she hits every uh, chord progression on her keyboard, she's gonna cast holographic image to yeah. send really cool like dancers like there's just gonna be dancers all over the wall and like cool shapes and and like not lasers because that's more of a light but like holographic images of like really cool things mm-hmm. and bread mm. nice and bread can you with a mysticism the check then do you see yeah. how well you can maintain your concentration while you're also <laughs> playing your instrument uh that is a, a 16 bread base plus eight 
24. <laughs> 24. The images and your music all complement each other perfectly. The crowd is eating it up, cheers, and everybody is enthralled with the show. And then Zane coming in with those vocals. Yes. Yes. Right. So yes. the way The way Zane comes in is that, and I read this very specifically, psychonetic hand <laughs> can affect an object that is 10 pounds or less. And my guitar is less than 10 pounds. Uh -huh. And it just moves 15 feet in any direction. So I use psychonetic <laughs> hand to make it start moving, hop on top of it, and then ah! singing on my way out. Ah! Beautiful. Yeah! Are you also playing it with your feet? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love so it. So good. Uh, I will allow either mysticism or profession musician. Ah, that one. Second one. <laughs> Way better with that one. Uh, for a 26. <laughs> nice. Oh, you, like your first song is killing it. Do you want to give yeah. us a taste of this first song? Uh, is, <laughs> which is, which are so, okay. Katie, are we on. doing, all right, you know what? Uh, let's, oh. let's do Space Ellen. We thought we could <laughs> trust you. That's our Space Ellen, <laughs> why do us did you do? <laughs> just, just going in on it. Why were you mean it. to I your co-host and your guests? You could have just been nice, but instead you wore a <laughs> Yes! <laughs> why can't you be more like Zo? Zo, Zo! Why can't you be more like Zo? Zo, Zo! <laughs> this is Starfinder. Hmm. This is why we play Starfinder, everybody. This is Starfinder. <laughs> yeah. This is what it's all Thank about. You, um, this uh. is a song. This is a song that I wrote just recently uh, about somebody, um, and it's called uh, "We Could Have Been Friends." <clears throat> so, so I don't, I don't mean to interrupt. Friends. Give me one second. Uh -huh. Give me one second. So, so you finish out your first song. And everybody is just going wild. Everybody is loving it. You all succeeded on your parts of the show, which means that you will all get a plus one bonus on the next Ooh. song's skill checks. So as you start this next song, like the lights dim again, everything goes quiet. And then Dw Dwin, take it away. Do your thing. <laughs> Oh yes. Okay. Speech. 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 This is called. I guess. I guess we could have. Oh, we could have been friends. Okay. <clears throat> I bet we could have been friends, but then you had to try to kill me, so I guess I had to kill you first. <laughs> but I, we could have been friends. I really wish we could have been friends, friends, <laughs> but you had to try to kill me. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Dwin, uh, Dwin, <laughs> go ahead and make a profession musician check. Give yourself a plus one bonus. No, give yourself a plus two bonus for your yeah. amazing lyric on top of it. Uh, and then during this song, what is everybody else's part in this song? Uh, yes. Let's get those going too. I, I will say, so Sam is in the background lighting, providing some uh, oh beats as over as this uh, song continues. But unbeknownst to Dwin, she's going to cut, sort of come up behind her. And on the parts where she's like, we could have been friends, uh, Sam is just like, no, we cannot. Uh, and it's going to be inti <laughs> <laughs> intimidation. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I mean, no, no we couldn't. <laughs> and, and on the boo, she really gets into it. The boo. Nuya, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nuya, what are you doing for this one? I'll get results of the checks after we go through the whole performance. <laughs> um, to explain, to visualize for the audience what uh, the growth of friendship and the death of a betrayal looks like. I mm. am growing. <clears throat> I have a machine that I made before this started that is a, <laughs> a, a quick grow machine. So you see like flowers blooming, then I hit a button and then they die. And I'm, I'm playing oh. the bass, the buttons are back here. I'm just going like, boop, and I'm like, I'm like murdering flowers when she says, you know, no. 
Uh, and that's gonna oh. be life science. <laughs> okay, I buy it. I'm in for it. <laughs> uh, Zane. Uh, he's kind of just like, could have been, could have been, could have been friends. And he's bluffing. He's bluffing at it. <laughs> 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 Because okay. this is, he's, think, he's thinking about the guy that he said, I'm going to make a song out of your death. And then he came out to do it. But he did. <laughs> uh, Dwayne, what, what was the result of your check? Oh, God, I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I rolled a nat 20. I did. Um, so that's a 29 the total. The crowd loves it. Sam, uh, what was your check? 19! <laughs> people are like, you like you honestly startle most of the people, but after the first couple, they start to get into it. Like at yeah. first you, you think maybe that was maybe that was a little bit of a strong choice, but they start to get into it and they're rocking out with it now. Uh, There's Nuya? a mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> My oh role was a 22. <laughs> Oh, oh, the tree does exactly what you programmed it to do. All the plants dying in time with the song that was just made up. Somehow you bioengineered a plant in the past that is dying at the, to the beat of a song that was just created. It's fantastic. It's, I, worked it's on it. phenomenal. I worked on this for a long time. For like a whole yeah, year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's, that's the magic of Neon and Noqual. And then Zane, what are you looking at? The 21 for a bluff. 21 uh you know maybe you even honestly get a little bit like choked up as you think about the people who are dead and and like like you're in this moment and it's so big and and yeah like the song is a hit success even though it was literally just written during one of the most tumultuous moments of your life 10 minutes ago and song two song two successful you know that you need one more song to wow the crowd. Lay it on me. <laughs> I, I know I know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> and I'm gonna look to the side of the stage. <laughs> I wanna make out with you. I wanna oh. make out with you. I wanna make out with my tongue and a wrong wrong with you. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Paizo, for letting us do this. Sorry, Paizo. <laughs> this is probably not what you intended, oh. but here we are. And that's them pulling the plug. <laughs> uh, and I, I would like it to be culture because I feel like it's a cultural culture. exchange. Oh. I, there's there's an exchange of some sort going on there. I, I, I'm good with it. Culture makes sense. Uh, Dwinite. Dwin, how does this, how does your, what is your contribution to this epic love ballad? Versus game already? Oh, me already? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm scared of Ivan. I'm vibing with my synth, and I'm just like, ooh, make out with you. Ooh, make out with you. Ooh, and I'm just like, I'm scared, and I'm looking over at those guys because I don't want to make out with them. So maybe it would be a survival check. <laughs> survival. <laughs> survival. Okay. <I> <laughs> uh, profession musician is good. also a good choice yeah, yeah, if you yeah, if you need a fallback. Really okay. Oh, I do need a fallback. Survival. I'm not good at many it's like okay, I I I, I could stealth very well, uh, or I could stealth. <laughs> no, so so I think like. I should go with profession. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh, no. We'll do results uh, later. Oh okay. Yeah, we'll do results. At, sorry. Well, yeah, because I didn't even get Zane's uh, results yet. But uh, yeah. Nuya, uh, a, another <laughs> song starts up, and how are you? Uh, how are you making this happen? So Nuya is a. <clears throat> you know, a sort of understated person, but she feels like she has a good chance with this other band. You know, one of them, all of them, doesn't really make a difference. So she decides to show off by not using her words, but by playing really good and also exhibiting 
her athletic skills by doing high kicks to this song. Oh, oh make out to you. Oh, make out with you. And I'm doing like really high kicks. They're super high for a human. They're very high. And that's going to be athletics. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Yes, so I'm going to do a conjunction roll then with uh, with Nuya as uh, she sort of lets the drums uh, go because this is sort of this acapella we're getting into the ooze and it's like a, a slow ballad and Sam is going to start just grooving with it and showing off these muscles and flexing. Uh, she's going to do uh, athletics as well, taking that penalty, but is going to do it like showing off that maybe she's someone to be made out with too nice <sighs> and that's all of us oh right yeah, yeah yeah that's everybody so now we can get those check results uh i so know what is Dwayne, it you had already rolled us? yours and yours was like super okay. high uh no, it wasn't. yeah so so nuya i'll have you roll yours first roll your athletics and mm -hmm. then it'll be a little bit tougher for sam trying that mm -hmm. same thing but uh it's a plus two from the last time Oh, oh right. What is the? What is the uh, uh, no, your your second song had those bonuses. This one doesn't oh, okay. have this the bonuses. Oh. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Um, that's fine. Uh, that is a let's see, twelve plus seven is a nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen is good. People are buying it. <laughs> You're kicking high. The kick it. You're making impressions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit tougher for Sam to to impress everybody with the same trick. But let's see how they do or how she does. Okay, it's an 18 on the die plus athletics, 28. Oh. No problem for Sam. A uh, very athletic person. Yeah. The only Loving thing that it. I can and compare then... it to is like Magic Mike, but it's not that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like burlesque. Do we... Sensual, Do sensual we... Sam. We... Yeah, <laughs> sensual Sam. <laughs> Ah, uh, Zane, you wanted to do a cultural exchange. What does your check look like? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 30, 31. Oh, 30, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, every time you look over at the at Snowfall Renaissance who are waiting on deck, like, you can visibly see most of the band is swooning uh, yes. as they anticipate the coming makeout session at the I, end of I... the night. <laughs> I use my limited <laughs> telepathy of 60 feet or, like, my little... <laughs> Egg, your things are wiggling be like with you and you Ooh. and you <laughs> i like to think yeah. they like swoon in a line as you point at them i'm that oh no <laughs> you are you are Please or like conrad fun. birdie <laughs> but more respectful to women <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> Uh, I do think that's what like uh, uh, New Year is saying as as you're like leaving the stage, like but also be respectful to women. Uh, yes. like, yes, respect women. <laughs> <laughs> you, your oh, time God. ends. It, it, this magic wait, moment wait, comes to was, an end. What was our oh. was our other member's role? Well, I gotta, sorry, do we need given? Like, sorry. Go ahead. I had ruled a seven. But because you so gracefully uh, it reminded me that uh, I could use profession, it was a 16. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, sorry, I mm -hmm. thought, I, for some reason I had thought that you had given me results at first and that they were like way above. But this, Dwin, oh, you're no. feeling, maybe just it's just because you don't, because you don't want to make out with them that much and you just can't quite buy into the song as much as your bandmates are. Um, <laughs> and and your voice cracks once or twice <gasps> as, oh, you, no. as you're trying to do some backup. And it's, and it's it, it, you it, look, anybody who's really looking for it would notice it and you notice it because it's like, ah, oh, mistakes. But overall, the crowd's good. Like they're, they're, like, they're so into it realistically it's only something that you would beat yourself up about later because the show is still a rousing success. As you're leaving the stage, the crowd is roaring for more. They are chanting your names and adrenaline is just surging through your veins. But you Thank get off stage. Thank you, Europe. Snowfall. 
<laughs> Snowfall Renaissance, Renaissance takes the stage right after you. They start going into their set. And that surreal elation that you feel after just the most, the, the hugest performance of your lives starts to fade. Reality starts to set in. And oh. a woman in a very sharp suit finds you as you're getting ready to find a spot where you can watch the rest of the festival. Uh, she sticks out a hand and she says, oh, Layla Wild, Azure Note Studios. What a show, truly amazing stuff out there. I have some people who would love to meet you and talk about the future of Neon and Noqual. Are you free for a meeting on Absalom Station, say six, seven days? Yes. yes. We have a song yes. you'd love to hear Absolutely. called Cardinal. Oh, uh, yes! I, it's I can't wait. After everything that I just saw, I can't wait. I think this is, uh, honestly, don't tell anyone, band of the show. A lot of great acts, <gasps> but you really took, elevated this. I mean, uh, I mean truly, truly amazing. Uh, I, I see big things in Neon and Noqual's future. Uh, and then she she leaves, and you you realize that like you you've done it. Um, you think this this can't possibly get any better, uh, and you you start watching the show. Snowfall Renaissance is is actually really good for all their bluster at first. They're they're a decent band. They have this sort of hydrocore sound where they they wrap their instruments in bubbles of water, um, and you 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 know that that like part of the experience is like here is it some species that can feel vibrations and are more sensitive to them there's like a whole other subsensory experience going on uh but even still even without that piece of it they're actually very very talented um and then they in the middle the of their performance and... uh sam turns over to like a random audience member is like i'm making out with them later <laughs> <laughs> love it um <laughs> Their their set ends and and there's a brief uh, uh, moment uh, not like for the intermission but maybe like five minutes where there's nothing on stage and, and there's this hush over the crowd um, and and you're all kind of wondering what, what, what's going on like there's this anticipation in the air and as you're standing there a a woman in a red kimono uh, walks up to you and she has this like flotilla of anti grab slam drums orbiting her and she smiles at you and at that moment you realize. This is the most famous musical talent in the galaxy. Captain <gasps> Carmine of Strawberry Machine Cake walks up oh. to you and, and before she takes the stage, she looks and she says, oh, great stuff. You've got a presence and a talent that can really kill. I can't wait to hear more of you. And she smiles mm -hmm. at you and heads for the stage. The, out, the crowd around you begins to surge and scream oh. as Strawberry oh. Machine Cake oh. takes the stage and you are filled with a thrilling hope that soon they're going to be screaming just as loudly for Neon and Noqual. And Yay! that is the end of our adventure for this evening. Y'all did fantastic. <laughs> what we beat Starfinder! <laughs> oh we my god. You beat the Starfinder! Star <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody, my goodness. Somebody goodness. Uh, Somebody <laughs> invite Captain Carmine to the makeout party after. <laughs> I, um, I, I slipped a note under her set list, so she, when she looks down and during her set, it'll say, behind the stage, 7 o'clock, makeout session with multiple bands. As is nice, tradition. nice. But you guys, everything worked out exactly oh, wow. like I said it would, because we kept... Done. Positive Next mental attitude. Murder. <laughs> oh, you're no, so still, small yeah. and breakable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're scary. <laughs> <I> like <laughs> We're making out first. Uh, yeah. Like, Jeremy, I like how you can't make us stop playing the game. We've been doing the game. Hey, we got time. You guys can just keep going. Yeah. Katie was was going on about an encore. Honestly, I'm sure yeah. the, I'm sure PaizoCon would love to hear more songs. <laughs> if you guys want to just riff for a couple of minutes, well, I'm not yeah, gonna stop. Was... You made us write, made us prep songs. Like we kind of did it. We kind of did do that we, thing. We did that one. every time. It was banned on the run. It was mentioned. It would start playing in my head. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yeah. Near, well, near, 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 near. What? Just I was just <sighs> singing. 
<laughs> no, is Band on the Run a song? Yeah, Band on the Run. Band on the Run. Band on oh, the I don't sing too much. Reason... Twitch will get mad. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oops. The reason I, I thought this song was um, there's that song called Fox on the Run, and in my head, hey, yeah. don't black me out. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> so I thought, I was like, are they saying Band on the Run? So I literally had to go look it up, and it's Fox on the Run. So I wrote lyrics. I'm like, oh, this is so original. Look at me. I'm making an original song. Uh, and I wrote lyrics yes. to like a Band on the Run song. Band on the Run song to the tune of Fox on the Run. The Band on the Run is already a song that has its own tune that exists, and we cannot sing it. But I it. want to hear <laughs> what you have. Yeah. Oh, it's not like very yours. good. It's just about murder. It's just oh, well, Band <laughs> on the Run. You scream and then there are all the ray guns. Blast yeah. to space and hide yourself away. Just that. Yeah! <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Beautiful. Murder. Crowd's going wild. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I guess in space they wouldn't say space Everybody... murder so much because they're already there doing the murder, but go ahead. Oh, Sorry. Right. It's like French toast. Just regular murder. Yeah. Regular. <laughs> like earth murder. Earth yeah. murder. Earth bread. <laughs> <laughs> we might be the bad guys. Earth doesn't exist. It's Glorian. 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 We wanted Glorian. to be friends Glorian first. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens on a Friday night game. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like there's also that moment where like Cardinals in the crowd, and it's just kind of like I wanna make out. I'm gonna kill you. Make out with you. <laughs> you gonna make out like. Oh, Cut to says- like maybe a month later, and he hears the song on the radio, like just the 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 traitor cardinal. He's like, no. I think that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We also have that his it name. was a bomb. Yeah. Yes. That's not we his real name. It's a different name. name, so we're not legally liable for anything in this song. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a list of things we didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> Likeness is a pure coincidence. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was our last song, everyone. Cut us up, Jim. We've done it. And that's how you play Starfinder. <laughs> you know what? I I had a, a this was a wild time. I, I didn't know what to expect going into it, and you you all made it so fantastic and so crazy. And that is honestly the beauty of Starfinder, is that you know you can you can do anything. You can sit around and make up space songs with your friends, and it's a fantastic time. Uh, if you all out there are hoping to get a copy of this excellent adventure by Luis Loza, go to paizo.com. Make sure that you find the Band on the Run PDF that was just released today. Get yourself a copy. It is fantastically written. It comes with pre-generated characters, so you can jump right in. You know, if you don't have a big campaign prepped, no problem. Just jump right in with the one-off. And if you want to start a new adventure about a crazy band of, of musicians who are going to tour the galaxy, this is an excellent starting point for a longer adventure. These one-offs are extremely versatile and extremely fun to play through. Go check them out. Uh, PaizoCon has a ton in store for everybody over the next couple of days, so make sure that you stick around. Day one, now complete, but there is Yay. so much happening over the next couple of days that you are going to want to be here for all of it. I want to thank yeah. the players for making this a fantastic, like this, I, I was genuinely just laughing my ass off the whole time. <laughs> what a show. I had so much fun playing with you all. Thank you for joining me. Everybody out there watching, thanks for sticking around. Uh, it is so exciting to be a part of PaizoCon and it's so exciting to have you here. And Tech, you're all <gasps> killing it. There are a lot yeah. of things going on behind the scenes that oh, make PaizoCon and shows like this possible. <laughs> And I want to be, you know, you all did a fantastic job behind the scenes, making this show a huge success. So thank you to all of you. Um, that's all I've got. Good night, everybody. I, I'm yeah. happy but exhausted. I got to get Yay. out of here. Good night, everybody. Enjoy Good the night. rest of your PaizoCon. We'll see you. Uh, bye. Happy PaizoCon.